you are raising people who think we can unfamily anyone very quick. Correct. I can unf I can unmother you, unfather you, mm. and sister you, and brother you, as long as yeah. you do not fit the criteria of what I grew up. A mother is, a brother is, a sister is. Gen Z's can't be threatening us every time about unmothering us <laughs> and unfathering us. Because if we were all to react like this, yeah. eh, when you're growing up and you're giving me a bit of a hard time, you will I'm also, yes, what if I unchild you <laughs> and you still need yeah, me? That's, so that's stop it. holding us hosted. When you are saying something about your parents or your family, try to think about the implications of what it might have on your own personal life and your children, if you ever have, have children. In the process of teaching our kids to be independent and teaching them to be responsible, we have chores that we give in the house, we have things we expect them to do as well. Mm -hmm. But then you find uh, our Gen Z's, and uh, this question is for both coaches and you, yeah. calling us toxic. Yeah. Based on chores. Yes. Yeah. The toxicity for me as a firstborn comes in when I'm the one expected to do everything. We are not going to refuse their spoilt brats. Yes. You know, we are not going to refuse that. Mm -hmm. And that is why I always say, Again, back to my earlier point, gentle parenting is not permissive parenting. Mm -hmm. When you allow your child to get away with too many things, yes. the concept of boundary becomes null and void to them. Yeah. Yeah. Most of our parents also don't think they should be questioned. So when the kids question, like now I see with a lot of kids and, and parents, and I can tell the parent is very wrong here. Mm. And so as a remedy, one of the ways that I think we need to be able to encourage our parents is there is no harm in apologizing. A simple sorry, no. Mm. A simple sorry could do more good than you telling me to give you time. A uh, very good morning to you and a warm welcome to LNS Rebuilding Restoration Series. My name is Lynn Gugi and today's conversation is a must have. I'm pretty sure you've had statements such as if you have no kids, then please don't comment on this or wait until you get your own kids so that you know how raising kids can be tough. Or what are you saying? What exactly do you know about kids? But as times moves on, we are seeing a lot, a lot of differences between how people parent and and also we are seeing a lot of differences, especially when it comes to the Gen Z's and millennials. And Gen Z's are now saying some of these millennial parents are actually harsh, they are demeaning, and they do not want to give us a chance. But then there are those millennial parents who will say, Lynn, do you know how hard it was for us growing up? Do you know the kind of trauma that we've been exposed to? And do you know what we had to go through to get here? But at the end of the day, my intention with today's conversation is that we can be able to learn from the three people I have on set today because they will be representing different people at but at the end of the day it's just that we have to be able to encourage such conversations so that we can be able to come out of here with an answer and if we don't come out with an answer you can be able to pick a thing or two from today's conversation I'm about to let my guests uh, introduce themselves so that they can walk us through today's topic but before I do that guys I really want want to say thank you so much to the 1 million subscribers like now Natuna manifest like it's just 12k to 1 million subscribers and we've gone through this journey together you guys have been active participants of our work LNN has this I'm telling you guys this thing has just been a journey and it's not as easy you know as you guys see it a lot of things happen background a lot of stress here and there but every time I see us pushing and going on together it really encourages me so I really want to say thank you so much for you guys, to you guys for honestly being active participants of our work. So if you are watching this and you've not subscribed, could you please do so because it will help us and it will make sure that our work continues to impact people one story at a time. And now, of course, without further ado, please allow me to let my guest today introduce themselves. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. morning. How are we feeling? Good. We're good. Men fast. <laughs> You are so yeah, special. my whole life to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, fast. Man fast. <laughs> first, congratulations for a million oh, yeah. uh, followers. Almost. Not a small few, yes. definitely. Yes. We wish you well. Thank you. My name is Alfred Arita. I'm a life coach, a father of two Gen Z's. One is 17 years old, and the other one is 15 years. 
and I'm glad to be here on the show. Karibu sana. Thank you. Nice to have you. Thank you. Looking very sharp. Asante. We must give those compliments. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Sweetheart, how are you? I'm good. Tell, please introduce yourself. <laughs> Uh, hi everyone, my name is Wangare Maina, an actual Gen Z, hey. <laughs> key yes. point, underline, yeah. <laughs> an actual Gen Z, a uh, content creator, and I'm um, happy for Lina Meni Leta Uku Kwenyu Leo, so, wow. Watu wangu are good people, wasalimie vizuri, tell them, hi guys, hi guys, karibu sana, nice yeah. to have you, you look amazing, thank you, I love, love the outfit, you know. But then, Sasa, you told me you were supposed to do the same earrings as me. What happened? So, I woke up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have gold ones. Huh? I woke up, but then I was like, uh, I want to wear these gold ones when I have my kapulne. Oh. So, then I went to just these ones. And funny bit, I have those ones, yeah. but blue in color. So, I was like, ah, do I do this? I was like, nah, you let see? me do the silver one. We are together in the spirit. <laughs> we are together. <laughs> Karibu sana. Thank nice you. to have you. And I'm a great fan of yours. And I'm a great fan of... I saw... Uh, <laughs> I stand, this is a millennial trying to have a conversation <laughs> with <laughs> the GMC. They'll be like... <laughs> <laughs> I saw a comment and one of the things I really loved was when someone said you always spit facts. So I'm waiting for the facts yeah. today. All right. Karibu sana. Thank Feel you so free. much. You are home. All right. Yeah, yeah sweetheart. Thank how are you? you. Thank Karibu you. Karibu sana. Fine. Fine. Congratulations, Lynn. One million. We are Almost heading there. Yeah. We are heading it's there. It's been a yeah. journey. Congratulations. When it's we not did easy. your show, we were yes. what? I can't remember. I 800? Oh. I don't know. Yes. I don't know. Seven, 700. 700. Around 700. Imagine, that's a, it's big growth. Congratulations <laughs> to the whole team and to everyone. Yes. Yeah. All team Googie. I you appreciate know. it. Yeah, we'd love it. Yay. So, hi everyone. I'm Sabah Salim. Mm -hmm. I'm mother to two Gen Zs, um, 18 and 17. And it's a journey that I love. So, I'm Mama Kanda. I'm a professional massage therapist for pregnant moms and new moms. And Becca Extraordinaire. Yes. Yes. La Jakuja na keki ya kudangani. Keki ya kwe na kuja weekend ni meambia skola. Meambia skola. But moving on. Like I was saying, even off camera, I think this conversation is long overdue. And I have sat on this show and I have had conversations with young people who were talking about their toxic mothers, talking about their toxic parents. And one of the things that always stands is... Even though I know we really, our shows are really viewed by a lot of mature audience. You go to the comment section and you have one or two people who are invalidating this person's mm. story and saying this person has no business coming to talk about the mother this way yes. because this person needs to understand that their mother too mm -hmm. was he yeah. human. Yeah. What do you feel about that statement? You shouldn't talk about the things your parents have done to you because they are also human. Uh, the thing is, um, as I said offline, <laughs> definitely uh, parents love their children. Like that's a given. I, I tend to believe all parents want the best for their children. <laughs> However, it might fail to materialize in person. It might fail to manifest a parent might fail to show that they actually love you so your conversation ya ati oh wewe kwanza kama huna mtoto ufai kwa na hii conversation it is it's the same thing with saying ati gen z on the streets because they uh, but then they don't understand the issues common when and she's going through that's high fi mm -hmm. i don't have to be in the same situation for me to understand another person like there are two types of empathy there is <clears throat> emotional empathy and cognitive empathy. Mm -hmm. If I cannot relate to you from an emotional point of view, uh, being cognitive enough, I should understand where you're coming from. Now, uh, the human aspect, yeah, parents are human beings at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. However, that does not negate my lived experience. Ooh. It does not negate the fact that this is what I felt at this point. And at a Ukujan explanation 35, I still felt what I felt at that point. And in no way or capacity can you come and say that I am not entitled to my opinion. And in fact, it's not even an opinion. It's a lived experience. I'm entitled to share my story, my way, the way I experienced it. The least you can do is say, okay, let me listen. Let me try and see where she's coming from. Mm -hmm. And if it's something we can solve, let's solve it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Coach, what do you think? 
Well, I, I, I want to agree with that, that uh, no one should limit anybody on what they want to share about their family. But uh, it depends on many things, as I said earlier. Uh, one, the kind of experience a child goes through in a family determines a lot of their actions, the, their choices, and what they, what they say about their parents. Uh, what I like to say is, when you are saying something about your parents or your family, try to think about the implications of what it might have on your own personal life and your children, if you'll ever have, have children, and the, and, the, and, the, and, the big, and the bigger family. So I, I like when kids talk about their families. Like now, this, there's a story I had about um, a girl who was talking about the mother. So the mother was toxic and all that. And I wanted to look at it from both sides, not to support the parents, mm -hmm. but also to support the, the girl because she's coming out and saying, hey, this is what I've lived through. This is what I've gone through. And so anyone trying to stop her from uh, venting and saying how she feels, I don't think it is fair. The only place I feel some wisdom is needed is how you talk about your family. Because at the end of the day, this is your mother, this is your father, and this is your family. And what you say about your family, no matter how you have been hurt, also shows a lot about you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Kari, he's saying something. This is your mother. How strong or weak is that statement according to you? Who is a mother? Uh, let me start by saying this. I do agree with your point on diction. Diction yeah. is very key. Mm -hmm. The choice of words you use when it comes to uh, elaborating something is very key. My issue comes in with she remains your parent. He yeah. remains your parent. Yeah. We, you are raising people who think we can unfamily anyone very quick. Correct. I can, unf I can unmother you and father you, mm. and sister you, and brother you, as long as yeah. you do not fit the criteria of what I view up. A mother is, a brother is, a sister is. Mm -hmm. So your statement here, mzazi ni mzazi, in this time and age, it doesn't float. Because if you are doing what a parent should be doing, and that is, uh, in, in the African pretext, mm -hmm. as long as your parent is providing financially, uko kuingine, wewe jipange. And that is not the case. A, a parent should be there physically, emotionally, financially and even spiritually if need be. Now, if you're not providing my, this, I'm a, I feel there's a deficit, I feel like you're not treating me as your child, and it has reached to a point whereby um, this is toxic for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I can tell you as a matter of fact, Gen Z, we will unmother you, and father you, and sister you, and friend you, we will cut you off without hesitation. Mm -hmm. Something. Yes, Zero please. hesitation. Uh, first yes. of all, um, let me just comment on what you asked first mm -hmm. about uh, this is your mother, so don't speak. Um, I'm against that. We need to give people free space to express yeah. whatever they feel. Because, Lynn, whatever someone feels, I can't invalidate it because they are feeling it. They're yeah. the ones living in that moment. They... And I was giving an example to Karen. Mm -hmm. I've raised my kids with a lot of love, a lot of openness, and I could take a bullet for any of them any day. And I thought they knew that. Until, you know, we have very deep conversations with my girls. Coaches uh, has met them, he mentors them. Oh. Yes. And as I was speaking to them one day, Shawal came to my room and we were just talking and she told me, Mom, do you know there's a time I thought you loved Ray more than <laughs> you loved me? Mm -hmm. And quickly, you know, you first get defensive because it's not true. I love yeah. them both equally. Yeah. So I wanted to open my mouth and defend myself. Then I realized that's how she feels or that's yeah. how she felt. So no matter what the truth is on my side, mm -hmm. she has her truth. And that's how she felt at that moment. And so the first thing I had to do was, number one, apologize yeah. for making my own child feel like, I favored the other one more. Yeah. And so we had a conversation. Why do you feel that? Mm -hmm. And, you know, we get to it and get to the bottom of it. Now, coming to Kare's point, yes. I have seen a lot of people do the unmothering and the unfathering. And the, but we need to be very sober when we're doing this. We have been raised, me, I'm talking now as a mother to teenagers. Yeah. We were raised with, uh, from a very different, uh, how do I say it? Our community was a bit different. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's also a new, just like it's new for you growing mm -hmm. up and mm -hmm. you're telling us we were here first so we should know better. Mm -hmm. Just like it's a first for you, it's a first for us as well. Yeah. We've never raised teenagers before. We didn't face the challenges they're facing now. The challenges teenagers faced in our years are quite different from what they're facing now. Mm -hmm. So it's new for both of us. And that's mm -hmm. why we need wisdom and we need patience and a little bit of understanding, not just from the parents, 
but from the teens as well. Mm. Gen Zs can't be threatening us every time about unmothering us <laughs> and unfathering us. Because if we were all to react like this, yeah. right, when you're growing up and you're giving me a bit of a hard time. You will unchild them. Yes, what if I unchild you? <laughs> yeah, still yeah, the, that's, so that's stop it. holding us hostage. Yeah. What we need is a conversation. And I hope my fellow mothers and fathers are watching yeah. this because some kids are not as, as as articulate as she is or bold enough to tell them, mom, I will unmother you, but mm -hmm. they actually go ahead and unmother you. Yes. Yeah. So you guys, we are facing a very big problem. Yeah. Please sit down with your kids and listen to them. Otherwise, we will be unmothered and unfathered. But I, <laughs> what I'm just asking you, Kare, is for you guys to tone it down just a little bit so that we can hear you. We want to hear you. We want to do better. But how do we hear someone who is screaming and, you know, Oh, they close themselves up and they go to the room and just sleep and they don't want to talk to anyone. And it's hard, but it's hard for both of us. Yeah. We love you and we want I, to I do need, better. I need to jump in. Thank you. That is very profound. Yes. I, I think we need to put this in perspective. Yes. This this generalization of unmothering and unfathering yes. is not true. It's not. Because I talked to my my daughter this morning. Uh, she was preparing to go to Eldred for some music festivals, and I asked her, "Do you do you feel I love you?" She said, "Dad." Why do you ask me that? You mm. know, I know mm. you love me. Yeah. Okay. So as I said earlier, experience really uh, determine how people feel about their parents yes. and parenting. What I like to also say to I, I love your boldness. I love that you are representing most Gen Zs. But saying that all Gen Zs can unmother you. You know, I listened to a clip yesterday of a girl saying, "From now, my mother is the sun, my father is the moon." I and, I, and, I, and I listened. I was like, "Come on." So here is the thing, huh? Because also, See, my mama, you yeah, 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 yeah. You're no longer my parents. You're no longer my, my parents. And she was, yes, she looked thing. very, 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 very disturbed. Yes. One of the things I want to say, we need to be very understanding mm. to Gen Zs. Number one, because they've never been fathers and mothers. Yes. So that's why they can easily unmother you and they have never. So, uchungwa mwana ujua ni mzazi. So I, I can't fault them for, for not understanding that. But we also need to make them understand that, you know, we were once young, now we yes. are old. Mm. The reality about life is if you live long enough, you will soon not be a Gen Z. Yeah. You no, will I, be. I, you, you, you might not be a mother because that's a choice, but you will be old mm. at some point. So there is a way in which we need to be able to... Do you know the pain a mother would feel when a, a, a girl comes out and says, from now, you're not my mother? Because the truth is, a mother, you cannot defend a mother by provision. Mm. We talk about parenting, that's parenting. Yes. But a mother remains a mother, mm. whether they provide or not. A father remains a father, whether they provide or not. Mm -hmm. The thing is, what makes the difference is, what is their input in your life? Mm. I guess that's where we are coming from. Most of these guys are saying, I want to want mother is because they feel you haven't provided, you haven't been there for me. There are things I've not seen in you that I thought a mother should Perfect. provide. All right? Mm -hmm. So we, we want to be fair on this show and say, there, there are parents out there who have failed their children. Yes. But honestly, we cannot just come and say, we want to unmother and father. Otherwise, <laughs> I, I want to believe, uh, uh, Shaba, this yes. could be another, uh, maybe peer, peer pressure. Yes. Because it's moving very fast. Yes. And mothering and fathering is really moving yes. very fast. And we want to request yes. humbly our, our sons and daughters, <laughs> yes. our Genesis, yes. some little respect. Yes. That's why. Well. Let, let me jump in. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to be the independent observer, <laughs> but I'll, 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 I'll yeah. say mine after yeah. you go on. Um, the unmothering and unfathering yeah. comes in when, in fact, let me elaborate more. When I've tried to reach out, yeah. explained that this is what you did, this is how it made me feel, yeah. this is how I reacted, can we come to a compromise? Can we understand another, one another? Mm. Sorry. Mm. But then, um, one thing my mom has always told me is that your way of thinking is not every other person's way of thinking. Correct. And the way you people parent is not the way other parents out there parent. Correct. Other par some other parents are not as lenient as mm. you people are. Some other parents don't, do not even okay. entertain okay. conversation, Kabisa. Okay. That is why you will hear people say, I will unmother my mother, I will unfather my father, because mm -hmm. they try to give them an olive branch, mm. come, let's talk. The parent was like, no, I'm the parent. You have to sit down and listen. You are a child. Your opinion does not count, and that is where people go wrong. Now, um, I do agree. Like we need to extend grace to parents because I mean, you also parents for the first time. Yeah. There's no manual to parenting that we fully understand. However, the cutting off comes in when I have explained this yeah. once, twice, that yeah. thrice, and you're not. 
taking initiative Actually. to change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I add something on that one? Yeah. Um, I think uh, when our parents were raising us, um, I would like to say it was a bit easier on their side because mm -hmm. there was that aspect of community that we don't have right now. For example, as I'm listening to Kare, I'm imagining a teen who is crying out, you know, like, mom, you're not seeing me, you're yeah. not hearing me, I need to say this, I feel like this. But the parent is not giving this child room to speak their mind mm -hmm. or to, to mm -hmm. freely express mm -hmm. themselves. Mm -hmm. And I, I may not blame the parents as such because maybe they don't know how to do that because they were raised military style yeah. by their parents who were raised military style who are under our colony. So the only thing they knew was, you know, <laughs> kiboko, yes, kiboko. Right. And now things have changed and life has changed. And Kitambo, like those days long ago, if a child is going through this, they could easily reach out to their auntie or their grandma and talk to them and, you know, they would call the parents. And, but now we are raising kids in the city. We're just like a unit on our own. Mm. So these kids have no place for, exp uh, you know, venting and, and letting it all mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. So uh, on, when we, we come to that, I like to encourage our parents, like mm -hmm. even if we are in town, if you cannot get um, relatives who are close to your kids, and also be very careful because the world is very perverted. Yeah, yeah. You know, the people you bring close to you could actually damage your kids more. Right. So if you can't get people who are close to your kids, maybe your brothers or your whatever, get a life coach, get a teacher in school, get find a place where your kid can be able to express things they can't express to you. But again, it makes me wonder, like, why should your child have freedom to express themselves to someone else when yeah. you are there? What are we doing wrong? Yeah. What is so hard in sitting down with your child <laughs> and accepting and, you know, taking responsibility? We're talking about taking responsibility. Lynn, we, like you said, we are human. So if you're human and uh, you, to air is human, mbono usikubali mimi kama mzazi, hapa nimekosea. Let me apologize to this mm -hmm. child. Will it break a bone? Will it, it will mend. So let's remove that aspect and understand that as much as we are parents, we are not dictators, number one. Number yeah. two, this is a very different generation, Lynn. Miss <laughs> Jayona Matukama Hawa. Not in a bad way and not in a good way. Apple too. Yeah, Miss Jayona Matukama Hawa. Coaches or Tutuangu, you, wear, you buy them very nice, expensive dresses. Yeah. They will end up putting on munazita just sweatpants and big jumpers yeah. and yeah. clocks yes yeah. and crocs and they end up looking yeah. homeless you know and you're wondering what's wrong with this child oh, and crocs. yes <laughs> so these kids they, they have a mind of their own and i want to as much as tunabash wa mama wa cce edge na wazazi yeah. i want to applaud us coaches we raised kids who are confident enough to speak i'm telling you we speak. raised kids who have the confidence to stand up for their rights yeah. mm. which we didn't have most of us didn't have yeah. kwetu ungesikiza tu mziki Secular music. Well, me potea. Me are big away. Uta pigwa. You are you are spoiled child. Now our kids are coming and making us do TikTok. They are making us dance. Eka duka. Yeah, yeah. Ile ile ngoma si duka. Yeah, yeah. You know. So, <laughs> as much as as much as we are being termed as rigid, yeah. as yeah. much as we are being termed as toxic. Mm -hmm. We have done a good job in raising these kids enough Absolutely. that they can stand and say, Nyeni kaeni nyumbani tunenda kuandamana kusababu yeah. Because you people cannot speak, we are speaking for you. Who do you think gave them the confidence to be like that? Mm -hmm. We did. You did. So yeah, I give I give our parents credit as well. Absolutely. We have tried. Yes. Yes. So let it not be used against us. Let mm -hmm. us find a way to come to, you know, a conclusion yeah. as... Safe, safe, safe place. place. Yeah. Okay, before we go to the way, yes. yeah. because you're saying let's find mm. a way, yeah. I want to address something she yes. said, you know, and you said yes. that to pay any time, mm. be patient with us, yes. right? And she said, mm. this is my lived experience because yes. the part I find a bit unfair is yeah. you've projected to your child mm. for over 10 years mm. yeah. and this child is finally telling you, by the way, mm. hakuta enda ivi. Mm. And this is the part you are now telling them, mm. be patient Kayuzi. with me. Mm. This is the part you are not coming out as a parent mm. and addressing and saying, yes. I, maybe I hurt you. Mm. Yeah. I'm looking back those 10 years mm -hmm. and I realize mm -hmm. I was not a good mother to, yeah. Yeah. to you. Because as you're saying, you, you are learning. Yes. But as you are learning, you are inflicting pain yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. on them. Mm -hmm. How do you expect them now mm. to deal with that mm -hmm. pain? Because I feel the disconnect is coming from knowing they can call you out on your own BS mm -hmm. and they can tell you, mom, you won't treat me like this. Mm. The disconnect is coming from there because Kitambo, me personally, mm. I would never mm. even open my mouth yeah. to my mom. Yeah. I would never even tell my mom, I will unmother you. Yeah. She will be unmother who? <laughs> Even though you are mother in your heart. Hey, you to hey, 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 hey. She will even tell you, I'm mother me now. Yeah. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But this, it's coming from kids who are now telling you, 
who are confident enough mm. because you've given them this confidence mm. and now they are using this confidence against you. Mm. And they are telling you not only will we go and demonstrate yeah. against bad governance, yeah. Yeah. but we are go demonstrating against... We shall occupy home. Exactly. Lynn, that brings me back to the <laughs> point I was saying. Home. Yeah. We are supposed to take responsibility for our actions before as that, Before, before their responsibility. Because yeah. yeah. when you see these people commenting, mm. I don't see a reflection. Mm. I don't see... Could there be some truth mm -hmm. in the fact the mm. last 10 years? Yeah. And I'm not on this child. kid's yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm not, I mean, I'm just an independent observer. No, no, it's I'm, okay. I'm just a, but yes. I've not seen even mm. in you mm. asking mm. her, mm. why would you and mother? Mm. Mm. Why would you and father? Mm. Mm. We've gone for the general statement mm. yeah. that mm. she said, mm -hmm. I will unmother you and I will unfa. Mm. But we've not gone to finding out why would you do you want to unmother? Un yeah. mm. Is there some truth to why these kids want to unmother, yeah. to unfather? There is a big truth, Lynn. Yeah. A very, very big truth. Mm -hmm. You see, like you said, our parents, we couldn't open our mouths to tell them yes. that. And so we ended up with a lot <clears throat> of trauma and a lot of pain. And unfortunately, most of us didn't work on ourselves before having kids. kids. And these kids didn't choose to be born to a mother who is already broken, a father who is already broken. Yes. You understand what yes. I mean? So through the pain that we have gone through and the unhealed traumas, we are projecting and we are hurting these kids. Yeah. And that's why I'm saying we need a conversation. First of all, you need to work on yourself yes. as a mother. Because uh, I, I like to give my own example. Okay, mm -hmm. Like when I broke up with the father of my children, yeah. um, I was uh, angry, I was bitter, and I was taking out on the kids. Like sometimes they just say something small and you're shouting, you're you know, you're raising your voice because you, you're also going through your mm -hmm. own issues. Mm -hmm. So as parents, we need to understand our kids should come first. Regardless of what you're going through or what you have gone through, it is no fault of their own. I'm sorry to say this. I know most of parents my age will feel like I'm attacking them, but yeah. I feel like sometimes we are bullies. I'm sorry. To, that's a very strong word, but Lynn, I'm telling you sometimes mm -hmm. we are bullies simply because these kids can't react. For example, if I'm going through maybe that breakup and I'm yes. hurt, Mm -hmm. Why don't I go and just shout at my boss or shout at my pastor in church or uh, yeah. in traffic? Mm -hmm. But why is it that it's if you are the kid, mm -hmm. beat the kids? Yeah. Yes. You are a bully. It's time we faced it. Some mm -hmm. of us have been bullies. And once I'm sorry to say it like this, I hope the parents who are bullies will hear this. We try to hold our kids to higher standards than we hold ourselves, mm. which is quite unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. But the kid is hearing you. But tomorrow, the same child like kudanganya, mom, amenda kadunda merudi, unataka kumpiga. But we endo ulianza na uongo. Like you're holding, you're expecting kids to be held at a higher standard than yourself. Mm. So wow. we need to start as parents to work on ourselves mm. before we are able to parent these kids. Mm. Thank God this, I call it crazy period, starts when they are teens. Mm. You have all this time to work on yeah. it. And Lynn, if you have not been teaching your kid boundaries, and boundaries, I don't like calling it discipline, I'm a, but you see when a child does something, you correct them, we correct in love, okay? From a very tender age. If you have not been showing this kid a boundary, like mm. every time there's a consequence to every action, because mm. a lot of Gen Z's don't know that. Mm. There are consequences to every action every they action. take. There are consequences. Mm. But they're like, F the consequence, I don't care. And, mm. You know, mm. since they were kids, there was no consequence. And then all of a sudden, because the kid is now not going the way you want to and you cannot control them anymore, you can't beat them anymore, they'll beat you up. They're bigger than you, some yeah. of them. Mm. And now you want to start. They're stronger. Yes, you want to, to try. Unanza ku put your foot down. It will not work, Lynn. Mm. It will not work. Mm. So we need to start early. Talking to these kids, mm. showing them there is a consequence to every action you take. Good. Creating a space that is open enough for these kids to express themselves, but to also know. There are consequences. Yes. The consequences. Are you guys, okay, sorry. Well, I need just to jump in very quickly. Sure, on, sure. Uh, no, no, take your time. Uh, let, let's have a contrast. Mm. How did we raise kids like this? What is the difference between them yes. and us? Mm -hmm. Me and my ex. And uh, I was raised in a very militant family. Mm. My father was a teacher. And you will not answer back. You know, th those years when he yeah. said, what he said, that was it. You understand? Why Gen Z's are bold is because they have been born in an uh, age of exposure, too much exposure, too much information. They can access everything. They can even go through, they can understand even what parenting is supposed to They can even go to ch chat and, and, and get to know what is supposed to be done mm -hmm. by a parent. Mm -hmm. Us in our days, we didn't know. What the mother decided to do is what Still we up. just put up with. The father would come and tell you all of you lie down and they would just beat you with, with, with no reason. Okay, so somehow these guys 
have been exposed and they can look at us as she said we haven't modeled the right um, uh, i mean the right habits mm. the right the correct character on, on how we should be able to mm-hmm. behave sometimes you have lied they know we lie and so they think the only way they have is to come out and say hey enough is enough and i totally on this one i agree mm. most of our parents also don't think they should be questioned Mm-hmm. Most of the parents, mm-hmm. uh, unfortunately, yes. don't think they should be questioned. Yeah. So when the kids question, like now I sit with a lot of kids and, and parents, and I can tell the parent is very wrong here. Mm. And so as a remedy, one of the ways that I think we need to be able to encourage our parents is there is no harm in apologizing. Like, mm. you know, for example, what, what Kari was saying, yes. if, if, if I call you, hey, let's talk, and you, don't, you keep saying, I'll come, I'll come. Mm. She will come to a place and say, okay, if this is how it continues, sure. then enough. Mm. Mm. But if you come and say, you know what? I think I have come to a place I realize mm. I'm not doing what is right. Yeah. Mm. And I want to ask you to forgive me. Mm-hmm. Because it's called repair. Yes. One of the things we need to do, repair really helps relationships. No matter how, mm. f- how far you have gone, mm. if all of us can come and say, by the way, I really need us to talk. I have mm. done an introspection. I have looked at my life and I have carried myself and I mm. think something is not right and mm. I want you to forgive me mm. and still ask you, to be more patient with me in case again I, I, I go back to the same mistake but mm. you know I'm also doing this for the first time never been a, 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 a mother or a father mm. please understand me when I make mistakes and if, you, if I make mistakes be call free tell me call mm. me out mm. so that's what I wanted to say okay yes. I love that yeah. but she said something she said you guys have to be okay with the consequences do consequences bother you guys are you okay with the consequences of anything you do uh, my issue is mm. Consequence in what direction? Because if me telling you that Apple in Nicosia will result to you beating me, I'd, um, I will not be okay with that consequence. Because, um, okay, let me just go capture. On, go on, go on, go on. Whatever you said is actually very true. A simple sorry. Sitaki mm. mambo mingi at you, you will. No. A simple sorry could do more good than you telling me to give you time. Mm-hmm. Um, I always say this, um, when, when I became a t- teenager, when I joined Form 1, that is when uh, we, I sat my mom down and I was like, hey, 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 hey. we will not live like this, mom. You sat Appa, down? Yes. Mm-hmm. Hey, mom, hey, we will not live like this. I don't know ni kuwa kichwa misijui. I've always been an open person, mm-hmm. like, so it, I just told correction, her. Use your kichwangumu. You're just speaking your mind. It's you. Okay. Yes. Aww. Hey, thank you. You're speaking your mind. <laughs> That's beautiful. It shouldn't be termed as kichwangumu. Good. Okay, but then it was. It used to be okay. Okay. It shouldn't. <laughs> so I sat her down. I was like, "Eh, hey, mom, uh, there are a few things I do not agree with the way you do, and it's it's either they change because you see, I'm someone when you talk at my teenhood years juicy. The more you what is it called? The more you beat me, the more you keep enforcing your way, mm. is the more I'll keep Rebel. doing the opposite. Mm. Yeah. Because, I don't know, rules are, it's there's normal. a thing we always say, um, rules are there to be broken. When I, when I was a school captain, every time I will tell people to do something, they always did the opposite way. Mm. But every time I'll be like, do you? They always did whatever I want them to do. And actually, I think upon the to Ayo, even when it comes to my younger sibling, <laughs> That is why I, I, I set myself to was like, hey, Kare, you are, you are becoming your mom. You are, beca- eh, take a ste- you are becoming mom. Take a step back. Watch a fanya Kenyan attacker. When, uh, how my relationship with my mom repaired is the day she said sorry. Mm-hmm. I don't really care about whether she changed or not. Mm-hmm. That sorry did a lot more than anything else would have done. Because mm-hmm. she was like, yeah, I'm sorry. I was stressed. I'm not trying to justify what I did, but I'm sorry. And I was like, hey, Ata Mimi, there are times I burst out, there are times Tuliongelesha Vibaya, Ika result work Kunichapa. And for that, I apologize. And that is where we started our, you know, understanding journey. Mm-hmm. Can I say something yeah. on that, Lynn? Yeah. Do you know why it, it, like she said, she didn't care if her mom changed or just that word sorry started the journey? It's mm-hmm. because she finally felt seen and heard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She felt her feelings are that valid. Is, yes. That is what a lot of us miss out. Because we're also going through financial stress. We're going through balancing. We're going yes. through, you know, breakdown of communication yeah. and all that. Mm-hmm. And we forget that these kids are developing. 
their hormones are all over the place. They're searching for identity. Yeah. Their bodies are changing. They're, they're going through a lot. And then there's peer pressure. There's internet. There's all this mm -hmm. on this one child mm -hmm. who doesn't even know how to harness their feelings yeah. yet. Yeah. So as a parent, my first duty is to make my kids know in my house, Lynn, that is their house. They need to be seen and they need to be heard. And that's what I see in a lot of Gen Z's out here. When like the, I saw you commented on that the one who was saying the son is my my mother and yeah. my father there was a lot of pain yeah a lot of pain lean and it all starts from our kids feeling like they're not important enough they're not mm -hmm. seen they're not heard i interact with a lot of kids my my children's friends and they tell me hey mama like mm -hmm. we, we need to stop distracted parenting our phones uh, we've become addicted Mm -hmm. to our phones and our work and everything and so you're talking to your child but you're busy you're you're you know we are paying attention to everyone else except other than our children mm -hmm. coaches like we're in the house with them but literally as long as they have if, if I, they have tv that's it it's not enough mm -hmm. it's not enough have moments of conversation with your children listen to them make, make them feel heard Mm. build you know we are the ones who are supposed to build their self confidence and to build you know the way they love themselves and feel about themselves i was telling kare imagine if you are living in my house i'm your mom you don't have anywhere else to go because i'm the one literally i'm your small god here on earth mm. and then lean a mother tells a child and this i have seen so many times umemea kichwa sasa jumemea matiti i'm sorry mm. to use that mm. language yeah. mm. but it's happening we need to be to be the to be real yeah. yes at you sasa umemea tundevu unajiona umekuwa mbaba ni takutandika wewe ama you know you can go get your own place now, what are you showing this child? You as a parent, has, you've already failed. If you cannot correct your child in love, if you have to use threats, if you have to be the first person to body shame your child, lean. Mm. The world out here is full of body shamers. Mm. They will bring your child down. They're going to meet people who will kill their esteem. Where when do unafakua the first person to build them, make them strong enough so that they're unbreakable out there. Mm. But you are the first person when they're just starting to bud. When they're just starting to grow and their bodies are changing and they're very sensitive and insecure, we went to kwanza to mention the body parts that are growing. You're the first to mention. Juna uko na sauti sasa unajiona mwanaume. Jumemea matiti sasa unajiona mwanamke. Come on. Yeah. Parents need to do better. Coach, we are damaging yeah. these kids. Do you think we have parents out here who are actually jealous of their own kids? Wow. I don't know that I can call it jealous but I think insensitive. There are many ins you know uh, like what you have just said is uh, very true. A lot of young people have been affected by their parents' words. Instead of affirming them mm. and, and validating mm. their feelings mm. and even their growth, we are, the, we are the first one to say how, you know, akikosa kidogo, utanda ushago, utanda kwa chosho, those kind of things. And um, all this anger we see in, 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 uh, in Gen Z's, honestly speaking, is not mm. without a cause. Yes. It's coming from somewhere. Mm. It's been bottled for a very long time and mm. so it's finding a place to just vent. Mm. Huh? So I think they're not jealous, but they're insensitive and unwise. Mm -hmm. What she said uh, about uh, the stage of, uh, of uh, teenage, for example, is a roller coaster of emotions. There is a lot of uh, identity, trying to find yourself, yeah. trying to find your own values, mm -hmm. trying to chart your own way forward. And uh, social media is also there. There's pressure, there's academic pressure. There is also all these things trying to understand your sexual, you know, trying to understand yourself and feelings. So parents need to be more understanding. I think the the ball stops at parenting. Mm. Whether she's twenty five, she's still she's still a kid to your to your child. Whether she's twenty or she's twelve, even so forty. Yeah, but also there's a there's a there's a rider to this. The same parents also going through their own issues mm. in life, financial issues, sometimes relationship, work related issues, yeah. health issues. You understand mental health as well. So. There is need for understanding, and why we, why why we need some other external help like uh, coaches, counselors, and other people is to help both. That even as uh, at at sixteen, you can you can choose you can also understand. Yeah. You know, when I look at my father, I remember he used to drink a lot. Huh? I used to feel bad. He would drink, come home, mess everyone up. But I look I look back and I understand he was going through a lot that we never understood. Now yeah. I can understand mm -hmm. with in hindsight. So there is a need for understanding from both the parents and the kid, but the parent more. Mm -hmm. Don't but shame your child. Mm -hmm. Don't call them out on small, small things. They have, I keep telling my wife sometimes, when you see them make mistakes, meza. So there are things, because when you speak out, you may never swallow back whatever you've spoken. Mm -hmm. When you speak in anger, you may register. Mm -hmm. They will never forget that. Mm -hmm. 
it's better you find a way, walk, take a walk, find a way of on how you can talk mm. because you will want to be very careful of your words. They will forget everything you did, mm. but they remember what you said. Mm. Yeah. So it's not jealous really, but insensitive and unwise. Mm -hmm. Kari, do you think we have parents out here who are jealous of their own kids? Yes. There are mothers who are jealous of their daughters. There are. Like it's, I don't know about men, because I'm not a man, <laughs> but I know there are women who are jealous of their children. Um, we always talk about this term, pick me women. Mm. There are women who will even peddle their own daughters to men, mm. to their stepfathers, to their whoever's. There are women, and I, I can give a very good example. Let's start with high school teachers. The high school teachers will just hate you because of your hair length. I don't know if I'm the only one who experienced no. that. No, no, it's the teachers it's will true. hate you yeah. simply because for some odd reason they think you are attracting a TP who they want. Mm. And if, if teachers can react like that, why not parents? Wow. Um, another thing is, uh, back to a point he said, mm. I don't know if I can recollect the exact point. There's an article I read. I think it's by Shira Seven. She's not, she might not be the greatest advisor, but this really stood out to me till date. Okay. When it comes to disciplining your child, don't focus on the discipline, focus on the cause of their behavior. Mm -hmm. um, because when you focus on the discipline, the discipline might not work. Because what I'm chapa, um, rushe, fine, scared you, and you are in I'm like, hmm, girl, you end up a therapist. But then, um, when you focus on the root cause, mm. you see, like he said, we're in a technological age. Yes. You, you could be there, you're thinking your child, I'm a kumbe ali taka kupata boyfriend class, yake, ika umanje. Kumbe ali taka kumake friends na mschana, ika umanje. And she's like, I'm a full rapper the whole day. Mm -hmm. You've come from work, okay, let me say, I'm at that age, I now realize, mbona wazate walikuwa nataka tu kunya, maza wakitoka job. Mm. I called my mom ni kamwambia wa nimeelewa mbona mnatoka nga job mtu mmekasirika eh I find it cuz that I had a bad alafu people do that they had a bad day so but anyways so um the parent That's has come in. Understanding. So the par you as a parent come in, you mm -hmm. yeah, like, mm -hmm. um, if and as back to what he said, as a parent you should exercise more understanding. Yeah. If you do it out of a point of anger, you'll not understand Mbona wow. yeah. You'll be like, Okay, sit with me, Mbona Mbona ume 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 jump. Mom. That is where it comes from. Yeah. So if you focus on the discipline more, and I think this is something my mom emulated, and it has been better for my sin. Hey, Bahati, first ones, we need a holiday. Yeah. Yeah. We need a holiday. Because, yeah. hey, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. we need a full paid, a three year trip. A three year trip to Dubai. Three year we just go and unpack. <laughs> Anyways, it, it's been I, better for, yeah, yeah, it's been better for my sibling because my mom came to realize. Hmm, okay, if you do it at an ukikasirika, uh, and that's something I'm teaching myself every day, yeah. I don't uh, address it at that point. Mm. I look for a point, because if we address it at that point, the other party will be defensive. I, in the umbia, at a minta kwan mewaka, but mm. if I come from a point of, I've sat down, nimekachi nimetulia, because even when it comes to the simple concept of water, mm. disturbed water will, will I mean, magic ichemuka ita, magika, but when it's still, it's it just, it's calm. calm. Yeah. So, um, back to parenting. When you deal with issues from a clearer state, you're able to see the end goal. But if you deal with it at that <clears throat> point of anger, and it, it has actually helped me as a firstborn. Mm -hmm. When it comes to my brother, every time I want to lash out, I'd be like, hmm. Mm. 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 Do your chest like this. Mm. Come back to the house and be like, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> that, actually, the other day, aliacha aliacha bafu yangu ina kava ni nataka kwa. I was like, mm. nilitoka nje nika kunywa maji, came back, I was like, hmm, hi, sasa, ebu kuja kidogo, I want to show you something. Kuja kambia, eh, natukue na tabia ya ku clean up after ourselves. Nuna vanya inaka, tukue na tabia, kufanya nini? Ya ku clean up. Kanyambia ni sawa, wapi, wapi brush? 
He did what I needed done and life continued. Can yes. I say okay, yeah. Yeah. Would you have done the same as if you were a, a 17? Would you have done the same? Do you think if you if you were younger, you would have understood that more? We, with my brother, mm. I never even used yeah. to talk. Yes. And you know, after you're done fighting, your parent will just go pick the cane. <laughs> <of you. laughs> so, because I did not want that to happen. Yes. When when I used to be younger, 17, 16, I used to hmm, I used to go pick the things. I just clean myself yes, in the just to avoid mm, yeah. Yeah. And I realized that is enabling him. Yes. Yeah. And that I and I feel upon your disconnect, you know, it comes when it comes to gentle parenting. Mm. Gentle parenting is not passive pa- parenting. Exactly, and pa- permissive parenting. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just because you're a gentle parent, I manage now you enable your child. Because, you right. become a enabler of Sasa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's not the thing. Mm-hmm. Because every time I'll at because I don't want conflict, naenda kuosha atazoya kwa nayo tabia kuacha that place over and over yes. again. Yeah. Thank you. When I came to pick up that if I talk to him pole pole ni mwambie okay, I want this cup gone. Can you please take it? Angeichukua tu vizuri and afanye. And that is nasema I'm learning a lot mm. by just being a firstborn. Mm. If I ever become a mom, I think I'm going to be the mom of the year. Well, oh, yes. oh my God. Yes. But, <laughs> Can I say yeah. something very yes. important? Yes, yes, yes. You'll notice she's talking about parenting her younger brother. Yes. I'm sorry to, yeah. to come to yes, that. Yes, yes. That's one thing as parents we really need. Number one, to apologize to those firstborns for. Mm. Number two, take responsibility and raise your children. Mm. You know, we have kids, like for example, now my kids are teens, and then I go have another baby. And then I expect my teenagers to, to raise, babysit raise. for me, yeah. Yeah. I expect them to literally raise them. It shouldn't be happening, Lynn. And this is what is causing a lot of trauma to these kids to the extent that they don't want to be mothers. Mm. Because they became mothers at 16. They became mothers at 15. You know, your parent leaves you with Not kids. Even, uh, even at 12. Yes. They leave you with a host of children at home, yeah. expecting you to make sure. Yes. Come make from school, sure make sure they're fed, they're bathed. They're fed, they're bathed. Yes. They have done their homework. When they come and yeah. find Aijafanyika, yeah. you as the firstborn, unawekelewa kiboko. Mm. Now she's talking of gentle parenting. Mm. She realized gentle parenting. She has no business being a parent. She's a mm. child. Talking about Unless that, she has her I own I just baby. arrived. <laughs> <laughs> I just arrived. <laughs> you see, so as parents, you know, we, need to, we need to try and do better. I understand yes. financial times are very hard. You can't employ a nanny and all that. But it's your choice to have a child. Please raise that child. But talking about that, honestly, let, let, let's try to be very... Let's try to be fair to our yes, parents. Yes, yes. You see, if, if, if I grew up in a family of six. Yes. I remember I, I, I raised the ones behind me, the, yes. at the last three. Yes. The last one, I remember I have a burn on my, on my, on my stomach because he pulled hot milk. Ooh. And uh, I, I, I messed the entire, and then my mother actually thought I'd burn the, 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 baby. the, the baby. And she was on me, she was beating me everywhere. And, only to realize I'm the one who is more. But, but you see, I look back and I, I can only understand. What did you expect if there were six? The mother and a job. If a father maybe is also not very able to provide everything. You can't pay a nanny. So first ones by, by, by default became somehow, not parents. I don't know that we are. Well, I no, mean, we are calling this parents. 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 Now that you went through that, you should know better. You are, and you should do better. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just yes, trying to... we should stop calling uh, kids deputy but parents. No, it's wrong. I, I don't know whether it is parents or uh, but, but, just taking responsibility. We are but not being their apart, childhood. But they are doing them. Mm. But they are so not to... But can you call it parenting? Not to be offensive. Yeah, yeah. If I'm doing everything my mom does home... Yeah. Mm-hmm. The only difference is I'm not intimate with my father. Oh, and you, paying bills. You, you, you and paying you, you bills. You don't pay bills as well. No, That's and all. maybe she's not paying bills also. Mm-hmm. In this time and age, these kids want to experience life. They want, they need to be, we need to give them room to be kids, to be teens. Mm-hmm. Not, it's good to give them responsibility coaches. But I'm telling you, there are parents out here who have left parenting to their, to their uh, firstborns. Mm-hmm. One day, yeah. sorry, I covered a story. Yes. She was nine. I'm happy right now she's in a better place. Mm. She was nine. Mm. So I'm just walking around. We are driving. I, was, I wasn't I was even working that day. Mm. Those who can remember my days in Tuko, we did that story. Mm. I bumped into this girl. She was only nine mm. by the roadside selling jugus na kila kitu. Yeah. I said, let me follow her. Mm. Let's actually see what's going on. Yes. It was like four or five years ago. Mm. We went to her home in Kibra. The mom was sick. She had two other siblings. So she needs to go do her mom's job, Yakuza, Jugu, 
because her mom's leg was not okay. Then she needs to come cook for the mom, the brothers, then get ready tomorrow morning, get these kids ready for school, school. Yeah. and she's only nine. Yeah. And the reason I'm asking that is, if you're going to have kids like nine, 12, mm -hmm. 13, seven, mm -hmm. six, whatever, mm -hmm. and you expect this nine year old to do your job, yeah. when will this kid ever be a kid? I think that's child abuse, not parenting. Mm. That's what I, 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 what I, what I was like, what I, what I wanted us to, the to understand the, the yes. term parenting. Yes. That's child abuse. But, but Africans have confused child abuse and deputy parenting. No, they this, they this, like to call was, it this, deputy parenting. parenting. Yes. parenting. I, I Which, think I'm trying to understand where he's coming yeah. from. Mm. Um, Kunaile, mm. I can help my mother out, yes. but she's still doing what she's, she's required to do. Those are chores. No, no, like, uh, That's... but then now where they're coming from is mm. where I overtake, and now my mom expects me to be responsible for my younger brother. Totally get it. That's what I'm calling it child abuse. Yes. Mm. To me, mm. it can it never be parenting. Be parenting. It, it can yes. be parenting. It can. But it's, you see, that is the term we use to make it okay. My deputy parent, when we're celebrating the firstborn's birthday, I, I think my did, the and then of it, brings me, it brings me to another thing, coaches. Yeah. I find, you see the way we are told, you should be friends with your teens, you should yeah. be friends, you know, to bring them close. Mm. And then some some of us are taking it a notch higher mm -hmm. yeah. and damaging our kids in that they become my best friend. So when I'm going through issues, you are dumping you are, you are, your emotions. Yes, you are dumping yeah. your, your issues on the baby. Mm. Okay, I don't want to call, I call my babies babies because they'll always be babies mm. to me when they're 50. I keep mm. telling them that. Mm. So on your teens or your young ones, you know, I sit down with my child and I'm like, hey, you flani 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 many stress. You know, or your dad has done ABCD. So we are dumping on these kids. And then we end up raising a very broken children who don't want anything to do with relationships, who don't want anything to do with marriage, who don't want anything to do with parenting. So we need we need to do better. Mm. Where, where do we draw the line between mm. yes. your child being your child and your child being your friend. best friend? Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, friend. Uh, well, um, <clears throat> what I know is every child should be able to find ways on how you can befriend your child. Mm. You need to have mm -hmm. uh, you need to have uh, moments to really bond. Mm. Okay, but there are boundaries. Mm. Everything has boundaries. Mm. You need to be able to know trying to vent or bringing your issues from the office to your child yeah. or your relationship issues with your child, you are messing up and destroying mm -hmm. them without your knowledge. But uh, I, let me use my example. Yes. I think I have tried to be a good friend to my children. Mm. But at the same time, I've also tried to be a good disciplinarian, mm. tried to balance that. Yes. They know the difference. Mm. Uh, this time I refused to buy them phones. I didn't refuse, but I thought they were young, too young to. Mm -hmm. And they kept saying, by as we are struggling. So one day I surprised them with smartphones. They were so happy. They said, now you had a plan. So I told them, you know what? I, 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 you are my children. So when I feel uh, you need something, I'll get you. So, but there are moments I find they are too much into the phones. And we have put rules which I allow them to, to, you know, to enact themselves. And we agreed if you are using the phone too much and you're not doing the homework, what do we do? Get them yeah. away. Put them to some place, mm -hmm. and then you do the homework. Yes. It's not. It's not like I don't want to be a dictator. I don't. I don't come say, "What are you doing on your phone?" I don't. I don't want to everything. But I am their friend. I don't mm. want them to be hurt. But I'm also their father. Mm. I don't want them to think because we are friends now you can do everything. Mm. So there must be a place where you say, mm. uh, "We are friends." Like now I can take them out. Let's go do some pizza. Let's go do everything as friends. Take photos. Let's dance. You have seen me dance with my. Yes. You know we are that free. But the same dance we do. Yes. There's a time I stay now. Upper. Apana, you have homework to do, mm -hmm. you have things you must do. Mm -hmm. So we should not be afraid also, I want to tell parents, we should not be afraid to be parents. Mm -hmm. Not to be dictators. Yes. We should not be afraid to be, we have a responsibility yes. and we must give account to God. We, are, we, we need to raise kids who will be responsible. Mm -hmm. There is a day they will look back and say, I wish my mom told me this. Mm -hmm. Let me give you an example. I went to prison one time and I talked to a young man who was in prison and told me, the reason I'm in prison is because my mother mothered me a lot, mamad me. Mm -hmm. She was overprotective. She was always on my... She, she yes. made me hate my father, mm. but now I'm in prison. Now I believe my father was right. Mm. Are you getting? Yes. So this, in trying to love your child and especially mothers to your sons, yeah. love them, but remember very soon you won't be like a boy throughout. Mm. You'll grow up yeah. and they might actually, you might have enabled him without no knowledge. Mm. And when you get now into this, um, he gets into this crime and stuff, you will regret and they will hate you from prison. Yeah, I have a question. Go on. Yes. Mm. Uh, uh, no, no, go on, go on. Coaches, 
you see, like you're saying, we, we are parents first, and yes. I totally agree with that. I'm mm. a friend to my kids, but I am a mother first. Whether they like it or not, I'm here to parent them, not yes. to be their friend. Yes. So being their friend is part of it, but I have to make sure I guide them, I show them the right path, I teach them to be independent. Yeah. Now, in the process of teaching our kids to be independent and teaching them to be responsible, we have chores that we give in the house, we have things we expect them to do as well. Yeah. Like, I can't come from work, and then I do dishes, and no. I'm an employer, and no. my kids are there, I expect them to... Yeah, you know, pull yeah. up, up the slack. Mm -hmm. But then you find uh, our Gen Zs, and uh, this question is for both coaches and you, yeah. calling us toxic. Yeah. Based on chores. Yes, based yeah. on chores. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> this environment has become toxic for yeah. me. <laughs> you know, and then when they tell their friends, yes. their friends now amplify it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. We are yeah. toxic. And mother so, <laughs> no, <laughs> And mother her. You know? We are being unmothered left, right, and center. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. What is what is the balance? How do we yes. attain the balance, coaches? Because mm. sometimes we struggle with that. Eh? And, and you want to go with you to church, you're putting on like yeah, sure. you know, a homeless child. Yeah. You know, we had mama <laughs> me dress decently. We have a go kubwa kubwa the Crocs. <laughs> Why do you want to wear Crocs when we are going for dinner? Honestly, yeah. why do you want to wear Crocs? <laughs> When we are going to church, a wedding yeah. link. Yeah. You want to wear these pants. <laughs> you know, you yeah. want to wear them. Cargo pants. Cargo pants. Yeah. <laughs> Very the cargo pants are better lean. Mm -hmm. yeah, they are putting on, you know, this big baggy baggy yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, jumpers. Yeah. How do I? Uh, we go to a wedding with you, and I just want to hide. You know. I tell you. And if I t if I tell you. <laughs> This dress is good for you. Yeah. It looks nice. Would you mind this dress for today? To wear and go to Mamangu ni toxic. And I'm supposed to wear and go to No, like, what's the balance? Yes. Kare, what's the I, balance, I, I coaches? I need to hear first. Yes. Yeah, I need to hear what you feel. What uh, is toxic, Kare? First things first. Yes. Let me go back to something you said. Yes. Um, a boundary without uh, consequence is an opinion. Ouch. Okay. So, um, okay. even when it comes to my mom, if you come to my stacky stories, I can be like, hey, mom, you're overstepping. I really, uh, I want to be there for you to vent, but I am not your friend. Mm -hmm. Same way, I will not come and vent you about some things. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like, okay, to, this is to the older Gen Zs. If you're in a, a position to tell your mom, hey, mambo ya dad, mimi sijumu likutana wa, personally, my parents are divorced. Yeah. Uh, at times, I, uh, nikisikia babangu wa kiongea, mama mamangu wa kiongea, because mimi, at the end of the day, they're... I don't care, I'm gonna ask for money from both of them. Wow. And I need to be in good terms. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be in good terms. Yeah. So every time nenda kwa dad, nisikia mambo za wama, mame, eh, sa, mzae. Chonjo fiti, chonjo fiti, but, uh, <laughs> nah, mimi sijumu litoana wapi, can you do that to yourself? <laughs> It comes to mom, I'm like, hey, mm -hmm. mom, I, mean, I don't want to hear it. Mm -hmm. uh, I've just come here for a yes. thousand mob. Yeah. Now, back to uh, what I was going to address. Aki, what's the issue with dressing? It, it, that was okay, but then, example. but then, um, <laughs> the solution is so simple. Create a Pinterest board. Mm -hmm. Like, and somebody, so when you're going, I'm a, let's say you have a wedding on Sato. So come a leo, be like, mm, but then guys, I want us to create, wana, ata wawa, unajua, unajua Pinterest board ni nini. Mm -hmm. Just go on Pinterest, nini, nini, if you want them to dress nicely, that is. Shava, you know Pinterest board? I didn't know, but now, <laughs> now I'm, you do. I'm sure okay. my kids yeah. know. <laughs> just, just be, ukijua tu kuna event. Inter, inter, yeah. Oh, uh, Pinterest is a... Because you get it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Pinterest is an app. Yeah. Uh, in a, in on Shanga yeah. Inspo. It's, it's an Inspo. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, uh, on the app, you could have uh, different body types. Yes. Nini. Yeah. One thing my mom taught me is simply because it comes in my size, I don't, I don't have to wear Thank it. Yeah. So, um, create a board. In a kwa options. Yeah. You can okay. save up all the clothes. Umuona supu supu zanyi. Unataka zinge in that line. Mm -hmm. Give them the chance to select what have you. And then once you create a board, you can go shop for now those clothes. Because, mm -hmm. one, I may participate kuchagua nguo zake. See, uende unishone kitenge alafu nataka ni vayi. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. Apo na apo. The dressing was just an example. Uh, yeah. so like, how do we balance? <laughs> yes. Between being but, toxic but, but, and yeah. parenting. But you know dressing no. is a huge it is. deal. It comes oh to parents and it is. Parents are Lynn, talking I took about my kids it. to shop one day. Tried this thing that Kare is saying of letting them choose their clothes. You know they would come from that room. Nikiangalia hivi na mwambia shawal no. No, 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 no. Because her tummy is out. This is a small girl. What are you showing your tummy for? 
Ray would come like this. I'm like, Mama, uh-uh, uh-uh, tough testing. I'm like, why did you even bring us to shop yeah. with you? But you see, you guys, sometimes we do that because we want to protect them lean. Do you need a lot of power? It's coming from a good place. Yeah. Even when you put these boundaries, it's not to kazia you life. Mm. It's because we want to protect you. The mm. world has become really, really awful. And so, where do we find the balance? Mm -hmm. I still want to hear uh, Kare's uh, definition of toxic. I'm coming here. Toxic, yes. Yeah. So, watch, watch a basic one then a toxic. Thank yeah. you. When it comes to toxicity, and this is me speaking as a firstborn, I can never relate to a secondborn, a thirdborn, a lastborn. I, I can never. Toxicity for me will be when we are three and I'm expected to do everything. And it's all the time. Every two seconds, I'm in a tumor. Every two seconds, I can't even get my own time. Mimi it used to get to a point, I'm like, hey, me, I'm not doing it. Mom, you've sent me the whole day. Mika is just sitting there. What is he doing? No, no. So, um, as a parent, balance between ni nani anatumu ama nini. Ama if you want to create a, a, a chore board, Monday, uh, let me use random names. Mm. Chantel will do, uh, will, will do Vyombo. Mm. Victor will do uh, laundry, who, mm. evo, evo, evo. Mm. If there's a whole board that there's an organization to it, then I feel that's fine. Yeah. The toxicity for me as a firstborn comes in when I'm the one expected to do everything. everything. Ama, if I'm not, not expected to do everything, mm. I'm expected to <coughs> coordinate the rest. Now the rest ni vichwangumu. And then when I, I try to explain that to you, una nitolea mimi stress. You don't understand that. You are the one enabling my siblings to treat me vibaya because mm -hmm. you don't even give them consequences to their actions. Okay. Because yeah, most yeah. of the time, first born, second born, wana chapwa, then the rest, they be like, they're let off with a warning. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm like, why are you <laughs> letting them? No, give them the same level of beating. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, first, I don't even encourage beating because I feel like they're better. First, mm -hmm. I feel like, mama wangi ni ungelesha tu, vitu nyingi tu zingepanyika tu vizuri. But anyways, I, I, I think the Lord have been good terms. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but the toxicity comes with now that. Now, kuna ingine, now, uh, we, let's also talk about the downsides. Kuna the one you are trying to push here. Oh, my parent is toxic. We are not going to refuse their spoiled brats. Yes. You, we are not going to refuse that. Mm -hmm. And that is why I always say, again, back to my earlier point, gentle parenting is not permissive parenting. Mm -hmm. When you allow your child to get away with too many things, yes. The concept of boundary becomes null and void to them. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that shifts from you being a gentle parent to you being a permissive parent. parent. Una, yeah. You are allowing them, you are yes. allowing them to do things mm -hmm. eh, without a consequence. Yeah. They get and away as, with it. Exactly. And as I said, a boundary without a consequence is an opinion. Yeah. 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 I, I like that. I think I think we to qualify to be toxic. Is, is it really goes beyond the beating or overburdening or giving too much uh, work. Uh, and that's got to do with, there are more factors I think to it. If a parent is hurting, for example, and they, they keep projecting the either child. consciously or unconsciously mm. with the child, mm -hmm. over time the kid will know this one is not normal. Yeah. By the way, a child can be beaten and know that my father actually, or my mother loves me, Nana Ubaya. Or, or they can even give you more, more job, more work to do at home, and you can go and tell they have nothing else. But it becomes toxic when you know they keep doing it repeatedly mm. to hurt you. You know, no? like what you have seen on the internet, a few allegations, like she would come and spank me, cut my hair without my, uh, my knowledge, uh, my consent. You see, wake me up in the night, you must do this. There's a level in which now a parent becomes really unfair. You know, kuna uh, kuchukia. I think there's something you ask whether a parent can be jealous of uh, their child. But I think a, a parent can hate their Ooh. child. There are they are they are children that are hated for many reasons. Mm. For example, if a child, for example, if a mother came with a child, mm. or um, okay, I'm now I'm, I'm mixing things because I, of things I hear from people. If 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 a child was was uh, was uh, born out outside outside wedlock and came into this marriage. They may be loved or hated, depending on how the, the, the parents are. Mm. And over time, you find this child is almost like a slave of the family. Yeah. So that what she has a right to feel that this is this this environment is toxic. toxic. And I don't think toxicity is something you can't fail to know. You can tell over time. Eh? It has repeated until now. You know someone up in here, mom. You almost feel like we can't. When you see me, you want me to do something, even if others are there. And when I complain, you say, no, 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 I told you, you must do it. 
yet you know too well she has a right to say, but I did that in the morning. I've done this. So it's not just giving me work, it's to inflict pain. Mm. It can't be toxic unless you're trying to intentionally inflict but pain on a child. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. so that's 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 something. Yes. But also, can we also say, or are we allowed to say, we also have children mm -hmm. who are manipulative. Mm -hmm. They've seen their parent, yeah. they've mm -hmm. mastered, mm -hmm. they know if I cry like, hey, 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 the mom yeah. will <laughs> do whatever. Yeah. But if I threaten to, if I threaten to yes. unmother my mother, <laughs> yeah. she will. Yeah. You know? I, I had a son who used to tell the mother, I was the only son, if you dare me and they were very rich, if you dare me, I'll kill myself. You'll see where you'll take all this but, wealth. Hey. He was the only child. Mm. And I think kids by nature are manipulative. Let me, mm. let's, let's begin from there. That's true. Kids by nature are manipulative. I hope Kari is not because now the, the father is away and the mother. I, I, I hope when you go to the mother and the mother is saying, Kari, I want, I want your help. I want a shoulder to lean on. When you feel like you don't want to give her that time so long as you get what you want, I, 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 hope that's not, I hope that is not manipulative. Because kids naturally, so long as for me, if I can go to mom and get what I want, I don't care how uh, I pay. Mm. If I get whatever I want, I and know. even if you say I have no money, I've seen it when they go for after when they go for school. Mm -hmm. You give them three thousand, for example, pocket money, yeah. and but she will go behind and the mom, yes. and mom will also, you know, be, being mothers, you always mm. find something and say mm. I have something that else. Is, eh? yeah. So kids are naturally manipulative. That's why as a, as a, as a, as a, as, a, as a parent, you need to be very, very awake and keen to know. So you can be able to correct that and tell them mm. this might grow into you may end up becoming a manipulative uh, a person in a relationship and even in your own marriage mm. and family. Mm. So, but 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 naturally, kids don't know they are being so long as they get what they want, they are good to go. No, good let to me live. let me expound further. Go on. Mm. My issue with uh, telling mom mm, that mm, mm. is when it comes to mom wants to talk to me about dad. Okay, I get you. I'm a dad wants to talk. I yeah. genuinely, you let me form my own opinions. Little, that's okay. Apple, apple, let me experience right. both of them yeah, yes. sure, sure. in their own capacity. Let them prove themselves in their own capacity. Yes. I think but then, that was well understood. That's yeah, understood. There's an angle we're not looking at. Mm -hmm. Are we considering we have mental disorders? We have ADHD, ADD, mm -hmm. bipolarism. Yes, that's what we're coming uh, to. Depression. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah like there are mental disorders. Yes. Um, the I was I was listening to a story on Reddit and the mother gave birth to a narcissist. Now, for those who have read and in yes. online, I'm yes. you aware narcissism has no cure. Mm. It has no cure. You only teach the person how to be to practice it's cognitive empathy. Yes. That's what I was saying. If you, if you cannot relate to me on Not an emotional, emotional level, mm. at least know that whatever you're doing is hurting the other person. Yes. Yeah. Now, in the African setting. Depression becomes real when the person actually dies. Uh -huh. It's not taken seriously. Oh, if I come and say, and you know, depression is not a, a state of the mind only. Mm -hmm. For those who've been depressed, you get sick. Yes. Yeah. Chronic diarrhea, fever, nini, fainting spells, oh, whatever. Like it's a whole physical, it, it manifests physically so yeah. bad. Mm. And, um, and that is, okay. One thing I commend some millennials, key point, some, mm. is they take the time to understand that these disorders can actually manifest in their children. Mm. And they try as early as possible, kujua mtuto hao, kama mtuto hongo kuna ADHD, this is how I'm going to yeah. go about yeah. it. Um, yeah. The disconnect comes in with a majority of the older generations, key point majority, because yeah. definitely kuna wala wazuri, yeah. um, saying, ata sisi tulifanyiwa hivo, so yeah. what is your issue? Wewe, suck up your... Deal with your depression, nauko, come back to society when you're good. And that is not the case. That should not be the case right now. Mm. You said we are living in an era where exposure is there. Yeah. However, in the same um, exposure, we lose touch to some reality. Sana sana. Let me even give an example. Because Lynn, I feel like you can understand me. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been in a situation whereby mtu anafikiria na kujua simply because they watch your videos, yes. yeah. simply because they comment on your posts? And that is not the case. Yeah. To an Every extent... Time. Thank you. Mm -hmm. To an extent, um, we lose touch with reality. Mm. And it's contributed to the fact that ah, we are not going to be able to comment kidogo. And that is not the case. That should not be the case. So coming back to children and what have you, sana sana, a majority of us have ADHD. It might it may be diagnosed and diagnosed. But since we do not take that with that weight mm -hmm. that is required, we downplay. So it is true. Yeah. Some children are actually ma manipulative and they just can't help it. Mm. Okay, I yeah. get you. Mental health. 
that's a very key point um, on both sides. Some parents are going through their own mental health, uh, mental health issues, issues their yeah. depression, because yeah. of the state of the economy, their relationships, their, like everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the kids are also going through yes. a form of depression or yeah. another. Mm -hmm. So I think a discussion that we need to have, and maybe we need mm -hmm. professionals for this, for this one. we need parents to understand, like, what are the signs? What are the symptoms? How would you tell? Because you see, teenagers are very weird people in. Uh, I live with three in mm -hmm. my house. Like, you can say good night and you're in very good times. Mm. Love you, love you, good night, sweet dreams, bye. Yeah. Mwah, mwah. You wake up in the morning and no one is telling you hello. Mm. <laughs> like, you're, hi, good morning. <laughs> morning. Hey, unaniongelesha jo ni kaa utaki. Mboka na jivuta hivi, ya ni kwa mka. So you're wondering, okay, yeah. see, we slept in good times. Mm. Like, what happened in the night? Mm -hmm. Did, did I do something? Did you remember? Like, did you dream? I was did you dream? You? So now sometimes <laughs> we just let them be, and then later they wanna changamka and they yes. become okay. And yeah. you know, so it's mm. we think it's part of the normal, mm -hmm. you know, I'll ups not, and downs no, of a teenager. I'll note that. Yes. I'll do so a sometimes whole... we don't know how to spot that my child is depressed. Because to kionge do akulala coaches, I don't know about you, but when my kids come from school, lean for the first three days, I leave them. Those kids will sleep. I have a I video I took yesterday. Yes. I was just laughing because they wanted to watch a movie and they were all snoring. Mm. It's normal, like they sleep. Yeah. Sleeping is, I think, part of teenage. Miss Elevi, you're in a guy. But now you they see in that high is. Uh, eh. mm? yeah. yeah, they're in high school and and, and part of depression. <laughs> <laughs> eh. So ntaju a jam to tuangu ako depressed man in normal mm -hmm. teenage. Mm -hmm. So as parents, as much as we are trying, sometimes mm. we need help. Okay, yeah. we need Edwin, help. Take note. We yes. have professionals we need that. who are going to. Yes, yeah, but we need you that. asked if, if the child is in high school. Why did you ask that? No, it's because in high school, um, the sleeping schedule is messed up. Mm. Yeah. We burst out. Okay, yes. I was in a national school. Yeah. Mine too. They expected us to wake up at three, four, thirty. Yes. Like, when I to do what? I will not. I will still extend the sleep in class. Like, ah, you know, yeah, funny. Yeah. I was just thinking about it the other day, and then I was like, honest, I thought about it there. And then I was like, what was the whole issue about waking up so early in the morning? You know, sometimes I'm sleeping late. You know, sometimes when you wake up at eight, even your day is just you're easy. You're mm. actually really more mm. productive. Yeah, because you've rested. Yeah, I'm a. If you're an early morning person, yeah. personally, yeah. I'm an early morning person. Yeah, sure. So even if I wake up at three, mm. as long as I know by 12 or one, mm. uh, I'm done with this yeah. up and down, mm. I'm good to go. There's something called benchmarking in uh, schools, uh, uh -huh. where people go and find out why schools are doing well, better than other schools. Yes. So one of the things they find is, Alliance boys will wake up at this time. Uh. So if you find it, it's just... But it's then just have you seen the issues Kwanza, 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 you are an alliance. Have you seen the issues? No, no, but have you seen the mentors? Yes. The way people are starting to talk about how mentally yes. affected yes. they were because they went to alliance. Yeah, yeah, I know. We benchmarked with the wrong The point is, I was trying to say, I don't know what you can say. The whole thing about our education system mm. is really messed up. messed up. That's why I'm happy with the CPC. Yes. If CPC works, yes. it's the best way to go. Have mm. you ever thought about kids waking up at four for private schools? If you think now Alliance is <laughs> now think of a, a five-year-old kid yes. being Imagine. picked by a bus around yeah. four thirty or five. Mm. It is it is it is quite because because of transport logistics and uh, they must be picked. So on answering you, yes. even mine when they come, the yeah. first thing I can get to me kula nikulala for hours. You can ako high. You know they sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you go and listen to them and then and then even it comes like they wake up and they eat and they sleep yes. until uh, the next yes. so the thing and is and you see that's one of the symptoms of depression and not how do you not, take, how not, do you not necessarily though yes Sleep is not necessarily one of the, it is one of the symptoms of, yes. uh, of depression, but also fatigue, yes. accumulated fatigue. Yes. You know, they have been school for a very long time. Yes. When they come home, there are things you expect them mm -hmm. to do. They will sleep, they will mm -hmm. eat the things they have never eaten, they will yes. overdo. But um, as a parent, we need to be very keen to know, yes. could this be signs or indicators of depression? Yes. No. One of them, of course, is if you find they are very withdrawn, mm -hmm. if you find them very withdrawn and isolated, mm -hmm. you need to be very careful. If you find they are very minimal in their conversation, they want to talk too much, they mm -hmm. want to be... They, they almost use signs. Those would be those would be signs. And sometimes and sometimes sleeping patterns would be nice. They may they may work they may not sleep in the night. They have insomnia, but mm. in the in the day They're they sleeping. sleep. Mm. So that kind of change of patterns yeah. could, could also be a sign. If they keep talking about um I'm, I'm, I feel a headache I'm, th that would be a sign as well. Yes. But of course another thing is overeating. You you realize there was quite like food for three people here, but someone has consumed it as an individual. Mm. You may find that that of eating because you know the ni body revenge. should change. You know, is it not revenge really? No, ni revenge. Yeah, yeah, shule. Shule. yeah, yeah she will lay. Mm. But also when people are stressed, they either they overeat or, or they others, under others, under others under eat. Not true. So as parents, why we need skills 
Yes. And and, and we, I think we didn't begin by saying this genital parenting. No one has a, a manual. No one has a degree on it. Mm -hmm. No one really understands. We just found ourselves. There, there, there are three things that I, I keep saying, Lynn, if you allow me. No, I mean, go it. on. I call them B ba B A A. No, the, the first thing, all of us raise kids on our beliefs on what we think is right for our children. Mm. That's why you find Gen Z coming and say, "Hey, what manual are you using?" Mm. So and they, and they have a right. So our belief systems have really influenced how we, mm. how we raise our kids. Mm. Number two is assumptions. We have assumptions that if they are teenagers, they might make mistakes. Mm. So we are too much on them. We are monitoring. We are, yes. we, until we mess up their independence. Because I think they also need their own free time. As a mother, don't feel bad or a father. If they're not talking, they want their me time. Yes. Don't feel if there's anything wrong. Mm. We'll be okay. When can we talk? Are you getting? Because mm. they need some time to be independent. Mm. But because we assume like, are you okay? Are you sure when you, who are you with? Uh, they may come from, they may come out in, and you think they have come from making a mistake. Mm -hmm. That is your assumption. Mm -hmm. Actually, eighty percent of kids want to make their parents proud. They don't want to make mistakes, but the parents assume they might be making mistakes. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 the last one is our approach. How we how we how we do things. How how we how we handle them. Mm -hmm. How we talk to them. Mm -hmm. All the issue about clothes. How we think this is the right one. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, I was in a school the other day. We were in, uh, in Lenana school. So I saw girls came, the sisters to brothers, and they dressed to kill. They dressed to the nines. Mm -hmm. You know, they were coming to boys' school. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they were coming to a boys boys yes. who have been who have been uh, within the uh, for, for, who have been uh, in that place for a long time. Mm -hmm. All their time is around and they're looking at this, my sister. I think uh, this Gen Z and uh, Kare will help us. The way they see things mm. is totally different, different from the... Protection. You, what you are calling protection is not protection to them. Yes. What you are calling exposure or they're too exposed or they're showing a lot of cleavage is it's nothing. Not... For them, that's how now it means. Hey. That, that's what it feels. So, Nikauliza Mwingine, did you know you're coming to a boys? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm. And, and, and she was very, very okay. And everyone, everyone was turning. The boys were turning. And so it's another generation. I think I think what I keep mm. saying all the time is more understanding, more love, more empathy yes. as a parent, mm. and more uh, accommodation. Just be, let's be more accommodative. You know why? This thing is a uh, is a moving target. It's, it's not going to be for a long time. I'm loving Kare yes. the way she is uh, able to she's point out what needs to be yes. called out. Mm. Yes. She's also saying where she's understanding. Yes. I'm saying as I'm growing, I'm understanding. Mm. Yes. When I would, uh, you know fight now I'm, I'm i'm now employing more understanding so we grow we grow into things and out of things as well so more understanding is required good that's a very good you're point coaches as said you're, you're, you're it's, it's yeah it's mm -hmm. transitioning yeah. yeah it's going to pass yes so parents as much as we you know we are you know we built up yeah. Every time your child is 12, 13, you know, the, we're not talking about the preteen. You know, preteen is also a very that, tough stage. It's another, it's another, another, hey, <laughs> it's another crazy that's one another before. Topic. Yes, yeah. that's another topic. Yeah. So when your child is there and you're already feeling it, you're like, mm -hmm. yeah. let me, you know, you belt up and you're ready yeah. for it. And it doesn't have to be like that. You mm -hmm. can actually enjoy the journey with your teens. Mm -hmm. Lynn, it's the most beautiful relationship when you're able to sit down and talk with your kids and yeah. they're joking with you yes. and they're doing small stuff like this. Oh, I love wow. mom. This Yes, they made I love mom. You. And then wow. Shawal wrote me something the other day. She crocheted. She's like, I learned how to do this, and because it's a beautiful flower, and you're as beautiful as this flower, and oh. your heart is so. Uh, those things, Lynn, don't miss out mm. because you want yeah. to be military, yeah. because you want to be perfect. It's okay to make mistakes. Yes, it's okay to, as a parent and as a child, it's okay to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. It's okay to learn, and it's beautiful to grow together. So let's not fear yeah. teenagers. Let's. These are our children. We love them, mm. but in the process, we lose them because we are fighting all the time. All the That's time. Right. Mm. Carry. Right. What can people do better? Because then they say when you do better. <clears throat> I really don't know if we have time because there's a point is brought out. Oh, I have time. Speak. Go on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> um, let's look at the society structure when it comes yeah. to family. Mm. So we have family that has the basic structure ni baba, mama, mama watoto. watoto. Yeah. We have families where it's baba, watoto. watoto. We have families mama, where it's mama, mama watoto. Right. And in families where <coughs> ni watoto. Ni watoto tupeke. Mm. Ni firstborn mkali na watoto wengine. <laughs> now, um, back to the issue of um, girls doing things because they are going to a boys' school. Um, this is a tough conversation because there is that debate of, one, they are still children. So one attack. Me, okay, when I was at home, my mom used to allow me to wear tumbo cards. To wear hipster, yes. <laughs> yes. To wear hipster. My mom used to allow me to do that. But then when it came to going outside, yes. 
Yes. She was like, eh, hey, no. no. Mm -hmm. I am. Um, look at, uh, let me start with daddy issues and mommy issues. So when you're going to a world where you, you don't know how it feels like to be appreciated by your father, you're going to seek that out in other men. If you're going out to a world whereby you don't know how to be, you've never, you don't know how it feels to be appreciated by your mother, utenda yeah. utafteyokwa other women. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it falls back to what kind of units of family we have. One, um, let's go back to a point I said, if I do not get a sober man, I will not bring a child to this world. Because I, pray, I hate... I, I pray you get a sober man. Amen. Amen. From the mouth to God's ears. Amen. Uh, the thing is, when it comes to... Now, back to parenting. Intentional parenting mm -hmm. comes from a point whereby uh, the whole thing here, emotions around children, no. Because you are, you, uh, and majority of the time, the African expectation is that as long as the father is providing, full stop. And that is not the case. And then the mother should take up all the uh -huh. responsibilities should do everything of else. parenting. Exactly. And parenting is not a gender role. We need to understand that first. Right. Parenting is not a gender role. Mm -hmm. So we are hailing from families whereby uh, one way or another, co-parenting is not working. Mm. Or uh, the father is alisema to attack it through any interaction with the children. Ama mother, the mother was like, you know what, I'm done. Mm. I'm done. Now, how do we, now, you asked the solving issue. How do we solve this? For parents who are single mothers, kindly look for people and for men who can mentor your That's children. Right now, be very careful. Back to, there's something she said. Yeah, the yes. people you bring oh, closer to will bring kids. more harm. Yes. So, do your benchmark. Yeah. For people who are in complete families, uh, I'm not saying that other families are not complete. I I'm just we, saying we hear you. We hear you. complete in the African we setting. Yeah. Mother, father, children. fathers, please be present for your children. Mm. Eh. The whole at yeah. oh, baba, anafaa, afayata, ulizwe maswali na mtoto ni wa mama. Anakuanga wa mama akifanya vizuri Akifanya vibaya Akifanya vizuri wa mama Akifanya vibaya ni wa mama Akifanya vibaya Fathers be available for your children Be available for your girls Be available for your boys Jua po ndio shida iko Because as much as we are now, first things first, I'm, I will never be, I'm, I'm a feminist and I'm very open about that. Mm -hmm. I will never be against empowering the girl <sighs> child because we started owning bank accounts in 1990. That's how recent things were, mm -hmm. okay? But then when it comes to sons, are we paying more attention? Because people say, oh, sons are easier to raise. Is it that they are easier to raise or they are easier to ignore? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you see, for, for ladies, me, lazima unibaye pads, mm. lazima unibaye sapil, lotion, lotion nini, lazima unibaye nini, lazima niende salon, lazima nifaya nini. Mm. For sons, Can it could be a care cut, hair cut, mm. Mm. kiatu lazima ichape ndo anuliwe ngini, and that should not so, be the sorry, case. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> Nipati any time. That point is strong. It's a very It's a very strong, yeah. You yeah, know? But so, yeah. mm. it has shocked a lot of years. A lot of years. A lot of years are yeah, listening. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. so uh, back to the point. Yes. Is this a, you for sons, I'm like, hey, no. Mm. That should not be the case. When you want a new shoe, ask for the new shoe. Mm. So, is it that sons are easier to raise them or they're easier to ignore? Mm. And remember, the way you are ignoring the way you are ignoring your son today is the way he will. Manifest yeah, that in future. Yeah. The way you're ignoring your daughter today is the way they ignore it in future. Now, when it comes to trauma responses, still in childhood, um, let me use a very. Let me use the issues. I'm a issues. Mommy issues. If your father was never present, one, you could result to blaming men. You could be like, I. Me, my, my, my father's not available. So, men when it comes yeah, to but, viewing yeah. men, mm. Men are okay. And point. it could also come to a point whereby if men are not available, you, you could be like, Wangare jichune maskio. Mimi sita pata monome mwenye haku available. For my children, the guy has to be available. Yeah. So there are always two trauma responses. There are those who will fall in love with the abusers. There are those who will resent the abusers. Yes. And we yeah. need to look at both sides of the coin. Yeah. 
Yeah. And that is that is what I'm saying intentionality when it comes to parenting, parenting. Yeah. removes utu to obstacles. Yeah. No, no. So fathers, please teach your sons. And my issue with um sana sana okay, I'm kikuyu, I hail from a matriarchal society. Mm-hmm. Okay, a majority of kikuyu households even at home, women take charge. And it's okay, like it's not an issue. It should not be an issue. We live in a patriarchal society in other communities and men take the charge and what have you, what have you, what have you. However, we need to fi- we need to adapt as a society. We cannot be sticking to SG norms the 19 quenders. Now, mm-hmm. don't get me wrong, I'm not saying we ignore cultures. Someone somewhere said mm-hmm. I'm not saying we ignore our cultures. Um, there's a reason why Kikus do Russia, there's a reason why Luos do Nyombo. Yeah. Is all in the cultures. I'm not saying we tamper with mm. our way of life as Kikuyus, our way of life as Pokots, Luos, mm. what have you. I'm just saying, if there are things that do not work in the current society, we need to unlearn. Mm. We need to unlearn. Kabisa, kabisa, kabisa. The whole women are there to be seen, uh, men should not show emotion. That is something that needs to go because it's affecting us, Sahi. Because men are becoming nonchalant. Women are like, hey, me, don't want a family because if these are the type of people I have to subscribe oh. to, then mm. let it be. Sila so, Yeah. I mean, like in Ukwele, Sila Zima to Olewe, but, ooh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Gen C. <laughs> let, me, <laughs> <laughs> let me rebuttal. Hold up. Oh, my gosh. Why are you breaking <laughs> your parents' hearts? <laughs> I know. <laughs> and, and they are no, I actually asked my mom. I, no, I, I, I did. I need to persuade my daughter here. Uh, uh, I was one. talking about coaching. You are breaking his heart. The way I'm just sitting and thinking, wow. <laughs> How lucky would be the man who will find this a beautiful, brilliant, <laughs> but, well, you balanced see? girl. Yeah. But, but she said something that I think I really yes. agree. She said, unless I find a sober. Yes, a sober and I think man. She, and, and, and I really agree. Because what is the point of yes. just getting into? You know, she's come from a place where she has seen men who are not sober, mm. messing up families, hurting yes. women, yes. and hurting families. Yeah. But what, 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 uh, what I totally uh, agree with you is uh, there are things we need to... And learn. And learn. Mm. I come from a place where we were told, don't cry, you're a man. When we went for initiation, we were told, uklia, utarudi. So we were told, but you see, mm. pain does not know a man. Mm. If today, you, if, if, I get, if, I, if I get injured, the injury is the same to a woman. Mm. But, but, but there are also things we need to tell Gen Z's that we cannot afford to lose. There are values we cannot afford to throw away through the window. Okay? For example, simple things like respect. You don't respect people because of they do what you want. Mm. You respect them because by virtue of being in certain positions. Yes. Which that which which is another debate I know. Mm. She said earlier, we can't you can't be my mother because if you're not providing this and I can easily be a mother, and I'm, I'm sure she's not talking about on her behalf, she's yes. representing a generation. Yeah. Mm. But there are, there, there are values we need to nurture. For example, I grew up where I respected girls. I grew up respecting my, my sister and other girls. Mm. Okay. There is a, we have come to a generation whereby we sing all the bad things about girls. You understand? We see all the bad things about sex and girls. And we, we, we kind of optic, we make them objects. So those are the things we don't need to, we don't need to compromise. We need to really uh, uh, teach our children that even if it is 100 years, they will not change. Mm-hmm. You know, there are things that cannot change. Respecting your parents, actually now, as, 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 as a believer, I will, I will say something that I also believe uh, that is, I think, beyond culture that says, honor your father and mother. Mm. Honor your father and mother will not change. Amen. You cannot change that. Mm. It is going to remain there for eternity because anyone that brought you to this world, they will have their own mistakes. They will have their own ups and downs, but they deserve. They deserve. I was feeling for this mother was being told, from now, you're not my mm. mother. My mother is the son. Mm-hmm. I, I, I could feel for her because even though she has done not very good things to this girl, mm. She still deserves to be to be told, you are my mother, but because honestly, you're not doing what I, you have not been supporting me, I want to step aside. Mm. But coaches, did you feel for the son? Yes, yes, yes. I feel In the, I, not the son, the son, the son is so N. Yeah, did, did you feel for the child also? I, I, I do. I feel, you know, when a child gets to that level of speaking like that, mm. be sure it's not from nowhere. There, mm. There's a background. Mm. There, there's pain. You know, when you see a child saying like that, I disown you. I've seen two cases actually. I don't know if you mm. watched. I commented. Yes. I've seen two cases. Mm. 
But one, I've been, I'm told the girl could be bipolar mental, or something. Mental, yeah, she has a mental. But there's mental. one who was really mad mm. at the parents. Like, I am done with you. My siblings, I'm done with you. Mm. But but if you follow those cases, mm. you may find also there's some mental health issues mm. related. Even though, Kare, even though the, the the parents went overboard. When we grow to 25 to 30, we begin to understand things and say, honestly, we can even have now conversations, honestly, Pale mm -hmm. too much. Open the conversation and talk about it. Mm -hmm. So that they can even have mm -hmm. ask for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. You know, there are things I look at my dad today and I say, why was he doing that? But because of my personal development journey, I've mm -hmm. come to learn, even without telling him, I've forgiven him a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Actually, maturity is being able to forgive people I've not even asked for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm here too, for my sake. Because you don't forgive people for them, you forgive people for us. Mm -hmm. Okay? When we hold and forgiveness, mm -hmm. it's like swallowing poison. And hoping that the enemy will die. That's right. You see? So as we grow, there are things that understanding will teach you. There are things you need to face on and say, hey, Shaba, Palo Lin Kosea, we need to talk. Mm -hmm. And that single word, sorry, really begins a new journey and a new way of looking at them. And I think every family should do that. Once you find you've done something wrong to your child, Usingoje, Usingoje Yendele. Otherwise, our total, I also feel for that child because most likely there was no sorry said. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Because at yes. Apochini, in a semanga, Parents do not lead your children to yeah. anger. Yes. Do, not provoke, do not provoke your children to anger. Mm. Yes. But when it comes to that, in a kwanga, because we only focus on on your father, father and mother. mother. Because personally, as a Gen Z, and this is a conversation I always ask my mom. Ebu ni ambie kuliendaji ukiwa msichana, because I really want to understand mm. her way of life. Mm. And I like for them, mungi onekana kijana, oh, kiyo ni maraya wakifini. Mm. Ifani nini nini, ivo, ivo, ivo. and I'm sorry for using that language. Mm. But then, uh, we're also living in a generation whereby, if I come with a friend home who is a guy, people won't be like, Ati, oh, I, we are men's doctor. No, it's like normal. Mm. Yeah. No, no. So, <clears throat> when it comes to giving the olive branch, back to my point on... Sorry. Mm -hmm. Parenting and what have you, what have you, what have you. Um, it all falls back. At easy to remember generation. That's one thing we need to understand. There's nothing new under the sun. Maybe you come up with a very new invention and then you go and look for a patent for it. Mm -hmm. But definitely someone somewhere thought about the same thing you're thinking about. Mm -hmm. Now, but, uh, but back to there's nothing new under the sun. Mkisema mambo ati e generation na kwanga no, it came from somewhere. It came, like a majority, and I can guarantee you this, a majority of men in your generation do not even believe women are supposed to have a platform. A majority of mm. men, my father's age, do not even believe I am supposed to be seated here in a short dress addressing people. Like, that's, it's, it's very open. A majority of women in my mother's generation will come and tell me, we are metoboa maskeo mara 35. Who you? Who you ni hivi na hivi. Nona? So, um, when we say ati o, na I don't know by the way why people are terming it as Gen Z, but na, hey, all of us are getting affected by these issues. Oh, Gen Z wana kwanga, even though it starts somewhere. It's only that we are open enough to have these conversations and be like, there are some things we need to unlearn. I thought it was coming from you, you're the one saying, ask Gen Z's. Not That's really. Mm -hmm. Not really. A majority of us don't don't but, even want to be bothered <laughs> on a good day. <laughs> but I feel like, you know why? I, and I love what you've just said. It's because they've come to a realization that they need to speak as a generation. Yeah. I've not seen a conversation on us millennials. Mm. We've blocked a lot of yes. pain. Yes. How do we deal with this pain? True. I've not seen us yeah. Gen X. Yes. We didn't want women to have a voice. Yeah. What was wrong with that? And how can we correct it? And again, I feel the admiration or the jealous is coming from the fact that it's a generation that yeah. has decided yeah. to talk about these things collectively. Yeah. It's because yeah. in, you're not hearing about us millennials, yes. us millennials, because yeah. we were raised in a lot of fear. Which is, a hold, before, yes. sorry, I'm going to, and yeah. I feel like that's what needs to happen. Yes. Millennials need to start yes. having their own conversations. Yes. I always say, 
every time you see people having a conversation stop asking yourself where you fit in mm, their yeah. conversation mm, yeah. set your own table yes. and have start your own, your own conversa- conversation and start your own conversation yes, you know yeah. yes. by the way these things happen you'll mm. hear people saying oh a uh, girl child nini nini and then someone will start saying oh, no boy, one cares <laughs> about the men <laughs> no one see you set a table for own. men yeah, yeah. or oh, so someone will start like talking that. about men yes. and then you have women here saying mm. why should they have a whole movement mm. whatever yeah. why is obina doing to do whatever yeah. so you start also start your, your own right. match That's you get what i'm saying mm. for me i do not want to be the person mm. that asks why are they identifying as mm. us mm. gen z's mm. i want millennials to also be Speak up responsible mm-hmm. and start speaking up mm-hmm. about the hurt they experienced yes. and how they heal yes. I, I was just answering yeah, that ask James what is lacking and, and I'll tell you I, yeah. I, why I really appreciate you for yeah. this platform yeah. is for conversations like this mm. if you if you didn't if we were depending on for example the mainstreams yes. some of uh, the things we are discussing would never find their way to the, yeah. to, yes. the to the public mm-hmm. so whoever whoever feels they have something they want to discuss mm-hmm. bring it out mm. what the, the thing i love about gentis and i've been supporting me i'm a supporter of gentis yes. because of the issues they are raising yes. and when they are fearless they are very bold they might have their own excesses mm. here and there uh, but honestly what they are raising is very pertinent look yes. for the longest time we normalized corruption mm. we normalized knowing that property is for a certain age mm. we normalized knowing that there are some people who, who, who should own this and who should not own this but they are asking wait a minute why do we go to school mm. what do we fail to do as a uh, ex and, millenn- mm. and, and and millennials is we never realize we are empowering these guys mm. we are empowering them they have gone to school but we we fail to put systems in place where when they come mm-hmm. they also they also get into job yeah. opportunities and stuff like that so what they are raising is all okay but as a coach i i, am, I get concerned mm-hmm. uh, because i deal with soft the soft skills in terms of the education they are very good they are top notch but their soft skills i'm very concerned about like simple things like empathy like i was asking mm-hmm. about some of my mm-hmm. my my guys mm-hmm. if for example we ban parliament what happens how will that benefit the movement if we ban state house mm. we will begin from you hear like now they are telling us they are going to spend 100 million to repair parliament mm. whose money is that mm. it's still our, our money, money. Mm. so there's a way in which the other day I was in a school the girls were telling the uh, principal the principal we will ban the school if you don't give us entertainment we will ban mm. so there's a feeling like th- what you are calling threats mm. there's also some lack of certain soft skills that needs to be installed mm. in our days they were either installed by default Oh. or life really taught us to to be to learn to be patient we never mm. fought back mm. but this ones there's something that i don't know whether it is lacking or it needs to be put there yes the parents will pay for it let me let's use the school analogy mm. okay for it to get okay as someone who was a uh, prefect in high school for you to get a change in entertainment the lord had to touch the, the deputy's heart on a good day and i agree with you mm. because and the reason why people are resorting to harsh measures is because they have tried making these conversations happen in short to make kuambia sana eh like tunashinda tukikwambia 1 2 3 ai bana tunashinda tukipigia mbuzi gita it can't happen like that all the time yes it can't happen nini so people resort to when you take action now you want to show your displeasure you are disappointed must still get to a place of burning property which we will need to use money to rebuild It doesn't have to get to a place of burning property if only the people listen first. Because, <laughs> so, because I also feel what we are lacking, listen. but I also feel yeah. Yeah. let me point it out it will be unfair for me not to point. Yes. I also feel like what we are lacking coach. Mm. Yes, they've said they'll do this. What did the school say? Mm. Or I feel like we arrive we are quick to judge yeah. what they say they will do mm-hmm. as compared Why? to how did the we process. arrive mm. here as much as yes it can be um compared to lack of empathy and this yeah. is the part i said about parents yeah. they'll tell you munajua ni nini ama when someone like Carrie speaks people will look at her and they'll be like wait until she gets her people don't know her journey mm. they don't know what informs the way she has conversations yeah. but i also feel people pick the end that yeah. ca- end sentence the we will the ban end. there mm-hmm. guys i'm not advocating please please don't do it i'm not advocating but i feel like what a lot of people lack is what in what influenced this decision how did we get here 
I hear you. Because we gotta work backwards. Yes. What Coach was talking about is soft skills that we yeah. all need. Lin Niliona Mtu ame ame work a screenshot one time. A friend of mine on Facebook. Alisema ame ita mtu kazi. Umtu waku respond. Anamutanga kazi kibarua. So this guy sends a message at 2 a.m. Uh, 1, 12 a.m. Sorry. Ati siku manage kuja job. Na izatokea kesho. So before this person could respond two minutes later. Sinime kuuliza na izatokea kesho. Umelala kwanza actually it's midnight and then you wake up in the morning uh, like sh that person waited like five more minutes and wrote lose my number but I was in the gate and so far you're the one who needs the job you're mm. I'm to a medical resignation letter at high boss ref resignation mm. chini bye you know and we I'm need some green. soft skills no I'm agreeing on that one yes. I agree with mm. you but I want to go back mm. because I don't want uh, people to feel like uh, to lead divert, uh, yes. it's because coach used something. He mm. said he went to a school, yes. and they said they'll they ban, the and he used yes. the example of banning yes. parliament, okay. occupy state mm. house. Mm. And for me, I, I go back to what she said, mm. before the discipline, look mm. at the root cause yeah. of and things, how the process. and yeah. how we I arrived here. Mm. Yeah, of course, we, we are not making excuses for these young people. <laughs> yes. Have yes. I dealt <laughs> with some who have given me headache from here to Timbuktu? <laughs> uh -huh. I, I I have dealt with them, Paka, I look at them like, Jesus Christ, serious? what is wrong with mm. you? I can't even mention his name. Mm. But given me headache, I'm just looking at him, I feel like, oh my God. But when there is a way when you talk to them, mm. they listen. Mm -hmm. And okay, I'm not saying they, they mm -hmm. listen. Yes. So I don't, because I have seen them demonstrate empathy. Yes. I've seen them say usiguze mm, yeah. usiguze picking each other up, when picking hard, each other yeah. up. Yes, i'm not going to sit here and mm. say they lack empathy mm -hmm. no. i've witnessed it mm. firsthand mm. so if we want to better their soft skills mm. we also need to know again we can't come and this is the thing they are telling us to our face mm. i'll ask you questions mm -hmm. I cannot be empathetic to you mm. if you are devil to me. Mm. Even if it's a soft skill, yeah. it will not work. Mm. I just feel like we need to be yeah. very cautious yeah. on not letting the end mm. define who they, they are. And also, guess we are, we are not even trying to vilify the yes. in any anyway. Mm. We are only saying, but whether it is us elders, we yeah. need to learn certain things and yes. unlearn some. Yes. We also encourage them. You also need to learn yes. and, and, and you also need learn. to unlearn. There's also a lot of peer pressure. Mm. Let me give a very general example. As we wind up. Yes, okay. as we wind up. Mm. And this is a question. Mm. One, why is there a general, um, in the same, is it expectation? I'm a general assumption that Gen Z's don't have the soft skills. No, it's not, it's, not. it's not. Just no, no, no. Improving. Not like yeah, extended to example. you. Yeah. Mm. Um, to people out there. To people what out there. Mean? Because every time I have applied for a job, every time I've turned up for a place, they'd be like, mm, I was expecting you to be. I'm like, okay, there, there are some things definitely I will do like my peers. But why is it that the few who have done them now define the majority? Mm. Yeah. The second question is, um, let me give an ideal situation. Mm -hmm. Uh, assuming you're my mom, you're my dad. Mm -hmm. Are we supposed to? Are you supposed to take me to Kempinski for me to tell you that you're supposed to pay for my school fees? Mm -hmm. Because that is the whole thinking behind dialogue, and that is what we are not understanding. What? As a, oh, I don't want to go that direction, mm -hmm. but why do you need to be told what to do? And that is where the disconnect is coming in. Uh, you see, Karis, it's not literally being told what. Like we want you to tell us what mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. But like I started by saying, our generation was very different in the way we grew up. And the challenges we faced are very different from what you guys are facing. Yeah. We didn't have social media. We didn't have drug drug use like it is right now. In schools, they find kids with velo, with vape, with all these things. Mm -hmm. My daughter literally had to tell me what velo is because I didn't know. Mm -hmm. So you see, we didn't have the same challenges you guys are facing. So if you don't talk to us when you feel something, how are we supposed to know? Do not just feel bad, like my parents should know. My par mm. Sometimes we're human. There are things you don't know unless I tell you. The things I'll not know unless you tell me. You need to create an environment where no, they no, feel no, safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's a very big uh, point. That's a big point. Mm. We need to create an enabling environment yes. at home. Yes. They feel safe to talk, talk to you. Safe space. Because it's, 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 it's working with you and your children. Yes, it no, is. It's working. See, it's working it with you. Because that, that means it could work. And the reason why it's working is because of intentionality in parenting. Because I, I, in our days, it was my father who used to talk to us okay we did have a lot of time for our opinions but now it can't you can't just come and say i've mm -hmm. said 
we need to talk we need to have a we need to create time where they tell us like you just thought of something about pinterest board i have mm-hmm. never heard about it i know pinterest but i didn't know about mm-hmm. so there are things you know and you you assume we also know mm-hmm. why, why i think this assumption eh? parents assume a lot about their children mm-hmm. but also children assume okay. a lot about their parents we need ah. we need a ba- we need a balance yes. Yes. There's, a, there's a place whereby agencies assume we understand stuff yes. like i need i need to understand <laughs> Sometimes they tell me things yeah. but this this phone I have yeah. that is I don't understand about it completely. Na mpea mara moja ananiambia oh no no to me you are using all the uh, whatever mm-hmm. do this I don't understand because all I know how to use is I don't even have time to use the phone for all the things they they they, mm-hmm. they have time to. So don't assume and hard. don't fear to talk to us. Mm-hmm. Don't just say to hell we just ban just come and tell us honestly we think you are not understanding us. Mm-hmm. Don't fear to tell us. And also parents need to have the grace to take yes. it to allow the children That's to talk to and us. And I feel this is, this unfortunately yes. it's more on the parents yes. than it is on the child. Mm. I think we need to we need to we need to point out a few mistakes we do as parents. Yes. Uh, Let's do that as yes. well. We need to point out a few mm. mistakes we do. Or should we come back? Yeah, no no. We, we need to come back. We need to come back. We've been winding up. We need to talk about we need to yes, talk about also see. challenges parents challenges face. Parents well. face. That's yeah. true. Let's But go. one of the mistakes that yes. I think we Number do one. One, of, one of the mistakes we do yes. as parents is we We compare our children a lot. Mm. One of the things that is hurting our children, we compare our children with other children a lot. Mm. Instead of compassion, we use comparison. comparison. We need to be very keen on that. The other thing we need to do is we need to open the channels of communication. Mm. By all means, sit and listen to everything they say without interjecting. Mm. Let them speak out. Mm. Because one of the ways of healing is speaking out. Mm. If you don't listen to Kare and uh, at a very open temperament, you might judge her very wrongly. Mm. But you need to be with her and understand she really means well. Mm. listen to listen to our mm-hmm. children the other thing that we need another mistake that we are doing as parents that i think is uh, is uh, we assume kids have no contribution to make their kids mm. kids can make a contribution I've, i've ever seen even when we are changing a sofa and say what do you think where the setup when you think it must be like this but they tell you mom wait a minute no 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 me am one even but when they they do it for you realize it is even looking better, better. they have ideas they can contribute to the family mm-hmm. they are not just there to be seen like mm-hmm. we are told in form 1 mm-hmm. you are a mono <laughs> there to be seen not to but be, not be not to be heard so happen. we need to allow our kids also to feel home and lastly which you have said we need to build and intentionally cultivate an atmosphere mm-hmm. where where we can talk to each other mm-hmm. not at, at each other most of the time is nimekwambia fanya hivi do this parents please if you are listening to me mm-hmm. let's tone down this is our children this are, this is our family mm-hmm. let's let's listen to them let them talk and even when you must respond If you find they are rapping you the wrong way, mm. find a way on someone who can even moderate. Yes. And so so you can be able to talk. Mm, and that's where now a coach will come in, a mentor, mm. or someone who can mm. If you have an issue between you and your children, you mm. can't talk. Find someone to help you talk yeah, because yes. if you continue this way, then you will have a lot of unmothering mm. and fathering because you they get when they get <laughs> tired These guys have no breaks when they get tired they're done. <laughs> they close uh-huh. yes. But I I don't want to wind up yeah. before I ask you for some of the um maybe if I could get a notebook I yes. want to take some few notes huh? Yes. because I feel like we just opened the yeah. Pandora's yeah, sure. box. Uh-huh. There are so many uh-huh. things. Yeah. There's parent yes. yes. We talk so we Parenting. do have the challenges yeah. Yeah. even for you. Yes. Mm-hmm. Parental, Parental cha- challenges. Mm-hmm. challenges on the side of children yes mm. okay kare what else would you want to see being okay. spoken about yes if you don't mind, uh, yeah what about uh, from parents yes our parents would you think like uh, they they gave up so much for their kids, kids. like career okay what oh, are <laughs> you supposed to do it? yes uh, our producer edwin is telling me <laughs> yeah. we also need to talk uh, about parents who think they gave up yeah too much yeah. for their we kids that's too Do much for the kids it's very wrong for parents to put that kind of weight oh, on yeah. the children there's something i talked about yes and what were looking at say mate oh our parents just had us is mm. there any preparation to become a parent preparation yeah. <laughs> yeah, by the way because now we got to mm. talk about this huh? mm. so what i'm thinking let's um if you guys are willing to join me again yeah. on another um, yeah, sure. discussion yes. and pretty much we could open this also to the audience yeah. maybe have a live discussion yes. yeah. with some few people mm. I'll, I'll, by the time this airs I'll have figured out yeah. uh, where I'll have captured the common mistakes also parents uh, do there are things we do without knowing their mistakes but mm. they are hurting our children yes common mistakes parent mm. parents do mm. yeah so I'm thinking if we could have this uh, 
yes. on a panel discussion and also pretty much invite even parents and children yeah, sure. who would want to come Lynn, to can I say something? Go on, Mama. Um, you see, like we want the best for our kids yeah. and all that, and yes. we're working hard to make sure they go to good schools yeah. and all that. Yeah. Uh, I was with, uh, talking to a cab driver mm -hmm. a few days ago. Yeah. And she saw me, she was like, I know you. I was like, from where? We're in a group together. And yes. I love how you parent your kids. Mm -hmm. But I'm having an issue with my son. Mm. So she goes on to open up and tell me, for the first time, the son has been sent home for discipline issues. Mm. I was like, what <clears throat> happened? Uh, she's like, I don't want to get into it. But alikuja bila vitabu, analala tu, sasa tahayuko, sorry. And natunaenda shuleni tukifungua. And he's going to know. I was like, hold up, hold up. Hiyo patia, anaenda kujua. You already messing it. Mm. Lynn, by the time this child has messed up in school, she or he, amesha ambiwa enough na walimu, then ametumwa nimbani. Yeah. Then ukirudi na mzazi, mzazi na walimu wana mm. gang up. I'm sorry to use the word gang up, but that's how it feels like. Yeah. Against you, kwa hiyo makosa. It reminded me, Lynn, when I was in high school, I saw my parents car one day, and I was like, nini mefanika home? You know, like, mm -hmm. you've seen it through the mm -hmm. and you're like, what's going on, what's going on? Then they call me to the deputy's office, Nikifika tu vinaibua, nil, nil, nil. Yeah. Like, what's going on? And my dad said, no, sit here. I was like, what's going on? You know, you expect hugs mm -hmm. from your parents mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. unambiwa nil. So I thank God for my parents that day, Lynn, because they said I was being accused of being a lesbian, ah. which I had never done. And there's well, a lot of that also. Me. I had never done. <laughs> <laughs> there's a Lynn. lot of that also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Before, you know, our parents never mm -hmm. used to talk to us about yes, this stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they were just telling us to sit here and our vijana. So in school, I heard about lesbians for the first time. And then now I'm being accused of being one, mm -hmm. and I wasn't. Mm -hmm. And I was so shocked. I was feeling cold and hot at the same time. But my parents were asking, okay, sawa, mulijua aje, mulimpata, aliendika barua, kuna mtu aliwaona. No, kuna tetea mtoto wako. And they're like, no, we want to understand the genesis. Like, how was it that you came to this conclusion? And it was discovered akuna mtu. So I was told, enda kwanza kwa darasa, we want to talk to your parents. Now, I'm trying to imagine the many kids whose parents were called to school in that manner. And then, mzazi amekasirika. Mwalimu amekasirika, yeah. mchoto anaitua, ananza kuchapu wa na mzazi, ananza kuchapu wa na mwalimu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How will this child feel? So I was telling this parent, number one, I'm not encouraging you to support your kids when they do wrong. But I'm saying, my kids need to know that I'm their number one safe space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That even when they mess up, I will correct them, but I still love them. Yeah. And when it comes to my kids facing the world, I need my kids to know I'm in their corner first. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? So parents need to... And teachers as well. We need to find a balance. Mm. Let's thing. talk about parenting skills. Yes. Mm -hmm. we, we, we need to know. You know, they 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 show they showed a skill. Yes. Those parents, if they had joined the, the teachers, you, you would be you would have been spanked yes. or beaten. Yes. But they you know wanted to know like, hey, we would like How, to know because yes. we haven't seen this in our child. Yes. Mm. So parents also need to understand that it's not everything you side with the teachers. Yes. There's a time you need to. Also and there's plan. a lot of that, you know. Mm. Yeah. There's a lot of that. Mm. Mm. But I do understand. I see there's a lot. Mm. Yes, Honestly, sure. it's just. Um, I'm just. Topic. Yes, go on. Does this have to do with how teachers are taught? how teachers are about the the uh, intentionality in their career because i feel like a child spends more time with the teacher than, than the, parent. the parent i was uh, telling my kids the other day i feel like some teachers don't even like children, children. In the first place. yes uh, uh, I, th I think we need to um yeah make, so we we do this a, a, a yeah. lot also you know empowering teachers mm. you know understand to understand the the children they teach mm. It's not so much about the training, but it's the same, the same skills you're talking about. Mm. You know, handling, mm. how to handle them with empathy and all that. Mm. Because uh, honestly, if I can give you my example, we were quite, we were, we, were we even being punished or we were, it was, like, it was uh, it, we were being, we were being, we were, it was pain inflicted on us, we were beaten. Mm. Our limb. We were tortured. Mm. Mm. You know, even in my age, there's a punishment I was given a long time ago and it never leaves my mind because mm. I was very innocent. And even right now, I don't like thinking about. Mm. 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 But how mm. are you? But bottom line, I, I, yes. my, my father was a teacher. I, mm. We celebrate teachers. Mm. Yes, we do. It's not everyone. We yes. celebrate no, teachers. I'm here because know, of my yeah. one of my teachers. Yeah. That's and so may, great may, potential. Maybe you, need, maybe you need to allow parents yes. mm. to. If someone wants to get maybe to. 
to you know some help mm. they could reach out yes mm. because their parents who really need some little help on yes. phone they may not they may not respond here yeah? mm. they could but, actually reach out mm. to a coach they can call her they can call mm. or any help okay mm -hmm. i'm gonna give you an opportunity maybe mm. to share your contact details on that's, how that's people right. can get a hold of you mm. no. but as i was saying the more we talk about this yes. the more the we absolutely. see a lot of things that it's we need so to detail. talk which is, about which is better which is yeah. so you can keep on doing it yeah and i love every time i walk a journey with our audience mm. i love when we go all the way to 10 episodes yes. of the same thing yes. and by the yes. time we exactly. come we mm. come out of it huh? mm. a lot of people have learned but mm. i really do appreciate you mm. also to the guys who are watching at home i know this has taken a bit of time yeah. but nyinyi ni nani muliamua ta episodes za 3 hours na nyinyi mlisema ni mwakorogea mna watch me to za 3 hours aje it's because these conversations ah huh? yeah. uh, you know they are worth having mm. but maybe before i can wind up to me wind up sana mm. what would be your parting shot to our audience and also for the people who want to connect with you how can they connect with you we go first uh, my parting shot will be uh start unknown finish unforgettable that has always been it mm -hmm. uh, in this conversation parents extend that olive branch to listen to your children don't be rigid Uh, Gen Z we ukiona tu hata si Gen Z children because mm. hata nyinyi mvisho your children yes. to people yeah. um also msikue rigid extend that olive branch to your parents have these conversations with them uh diction apo kwa choice of words be careful with with whatever words you speak because words can either bless mm. or curse mm. kunipata i'm on tiktok yes. instagram facebook everywhere my underscore mal yeah good Yes. Um I would just like to say we first. fast. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say thank you for the opportunity Yay. and Gen Z's children we love you. We really really do and we are sorry for where we have not done what you think we should have done. We want to do better and that's why we are encouraging conversation. Parents we can do better. Your word is not law. You may be wrong. So let's learn to sit down with our kids create an atmosphere where we can support our kids and be your first like the number one defender and the number one supporter of your kids. If you saw the video of my school um, I went the other day and Shawal was hiding because I went with a whistle. Me I celebrate my kids like that Lynn. And then she was telling me ma and I was telling her today you know so I I celebrate them loudly. I love them loudly celebrate. Let's learn to celebrate our kids loudly. She said you might love me but I don't feel you are not it's not manifesting mm. so show your kids love it's important mm -hmm. thank you how can people oh, call oh i'm on facebook as saba salim yes. mama kanda Good. asante sana all right coach five things i think parents need to give their children number one i call them five a's affection is very critical mm -hmm. affirmation very important mm. assistance when they need is very important and availability let's be available for our children and i like to remind parents that before you can correct make sure you also find a way of connecting connect with your children first mm. we are very good in correcting don't do mm. this what about if we connected when you connect yeah. it becomes very easy to correct in fact yes. correction doesn't even look like correction when you are when you are very connected mm. so for gen z's i want to say we love you we love our children and on behalf of the parents if we have done something that is really not uh, right forgive us mm. we are human beings we also make mistakes we have never been parents before mm. It's my first time being a parent of two Gen Zs and mm -hmm. you can make mistakes mm -hmm. and I I think we need to be bold enough to admit mistakes and yeah. say I am wrong forgive me so you can move on on a new mm -hmm. slate. Yes. Arita Koshes on Facebook and uh, my number is 0721 8487 Mm -hmm. Yeah and just because I wouldn't want you Thank to you. go before I say this uh, yes. uh, coach brought me this really beautiful book I haven't read it but when I do because I always love telling you about a book once I read it uh, but since this he's one here, you will love I will love uh, yes. period uh, he <laughs> has the A to Z <laughs> secrets of high achievers a uh, revised uh, edition and it says discover 26 simple keys used by ordinary people to realize extraordinary achievements so right. you might want to get that okay, copy so. I hope it's at my favorite bookstore Nuria because if it's not there it got to be at Nuria guys but other than that just realizing how broad this conversation is I actually thought we were going to be here for like an hour on the maximum but the more we talk the more we realize that this is not a conversation that we can finish or wind up in a day I really do appreciate your patience and as I've said I'm going to sit with my team and we are going to curate the best way to have these conversations whether in a live audience or just have
having uh, our panelists just come back and walk us. I love this thought-provoking conversation. Me, I'm a fan of let's have this conversation. There is a reason we are where we are as a country. There is a reason things are happening and we are looking at these things as if someone drew voodoo on our country. These things are happening and we must be the first people to talk about them because I know there is power in meaningful conversations. I don't have to agree with you, but could you please listen to what I have to say? Can I please listen to what you have to say? Can I pick something from you? Can you pick something from me? One of the things I always say, imagine life is just about three things, learning and learning and relearning. If you can do those three things, uh, you will be okay, regardless of where you are. I've been your beautiful host, Lynn Gugi. I hope I get to see you guys tomorrow at 10 a.m. And when you are at it, uh, leave me. You see on the comment section, uh, write for me some of the things that you've observed and also what you think we can tackle or what other conversation you would love to see our beautiful people and other more people come and help us tackle sawa sawa see you guys tomorrow hopefully at 10 a.m bye bye